All right, are you ready? Let's do this. Let's get this started. Let's do this. Hello, TikTok. Hello. Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the cold, rainy Thursday TikTok Live. I am so I'm so excited because it is actually really cloudy, but I can open my windows and I can see the rain while we're um, while we're playing. And I love this. I love having that open that open feel. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Lucky. We're jumping right back in and we are doing some ghost hunting. I'm telling you that right now. I've got my um, I've got my ghost hunting. Um, game face on and we're doing this yep there's no ghosts no ghosts are going to be safe around us today all right hello everyone hello 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 and welcome happy thursday <sighs> okay i'm just going to go straight down the line i'm just not going to do the um i'm not doing the I wish they would just give us more houses instead of just bigger places to go. But, oh well, let's just go straight on down. Nope, we are staying out of prison. No prison time for us today. Okay, so this is Tanglewood Drive. Let's ready up. Hello, Dancing Queen. Hello, Iris. Hello, everybody. Hello, Candice. Hello. Indy wants to tell everybody it's raining. And she's been a good girl, but she does not like the rain. She is, she's a little upset, but she's going to get over it. Okay. All right. Enough. Yes, I get to, yes, I see you. Okay. You're going to break something. You're going to break something. <sighs> she, she, I'm around her all day long. And as soon as I, I jump on here, she's like, I want to say hi. I want to say hi. Okay. Walter Carey. Response to people who are alone, which is good because, you know what, I'm a single ghost hunter. Uh, detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor. I can put the motion sensor in. I've never used it before, but we can try that. Repel the ghost with incense while it's chasing somebody. That's kind of hard because it would only be chasing me. Prevent the ghost from hunting with a crucifix. I can definitely do that. So we can do at least a couple of those things. Yeah, um, I have a motion sensor. I have never used it. I do want to try to be a little bit more cognitive of trying to get like some of the extra credit because I am just sad. Thank you for hiding me. I appreciate you. Um, and um, yeah, exactly. Let's try it. All right, let's go do this. Let's go do this. Hello, Ruby. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. Oh no, seems like everybody's, um, everybody's got something going on, whether they're not feeling well. It just seems like a little harsh time these days. Yay, Lucky Tay started off the Ducks on Parade. Ducks on Parade. Um, the TikTok thing that I went to last week was great. I that worked out really, really well. Um, I'm doing my my TikTok live thing on. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the lamp. I'm doing my TikTok live stream on Saturday, and I'm really excited about that. Um, oh, you were last. Yeah, it seems like it, so many people have. Um, you know, they're either got the stomach thing or a cold thing. So we're just gonna we're gonna try to manifest some good healthy um, some good healthy mojo today. Um, oh, very cool. I love me some breakfast for dinner. That is a that's a must. I think I'm gonna turn this light on just because. Oh wow, that's really bright. Um, I was gonna say because we've been hunted so much lately here. All right, that was a five, right, Lucky? Yep, that's definitely a five. All right, everybody, I found, I have an EMF. Let's go EMF five. Um, 
let's go here. Hello, Tiffany. So let's go ahead and check the temperature. Let's see if the temperature drops because I mean, even though we got the EMF, if the temperature doesn't drop, then um, I will keep looking because look, the temperature is not dropping at all. So even though we got an EMF five, I am thinking that this is not the room. That's what I'm thinking. Hello, Morbid. That's okay. Vacation's awesome. You never have to apologize for not being here for because you went on vacation. That's what I'm saying. Do all right. So then let's go here. Let's check around and see. Hello, Ethan. Um, we, I get all sorts of suggestions. It all depends really on whether or not I'm, I'm able to play them, whether for content, for personal reasons, or whether they're in first person or third person, because I cannot play third person games. So we are, I'm getting lots of good suggestions though. Uh, I can't do that right now, but I certainly will look into that. I certainly will. Oh, we got, oh wow, look at that, Elizabeth. I got, you saw my, I tagged you in that post. Um, yeah, I'm here, what's up? Hold on. Hold, please. I need to take care of a little business. Hold on, because we are going to have just nothing but a positive stream today. Because it's going to be positive. Okay. Um, I am going to say right now that um, okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. All right, hold on. Just taking care of a little business. Taking care of a little business. All right. Um, and one more piece of business. One more piece of business. One more piece of business. And perfect. All right, let's continue, everybody. One more piece of business and we're gonna continue. Elizabeth, thank you again for my dragon. Um, hope you're having a beautiful day, live your streams. Thank you, Carrie, I really appreciate that. It's a, it's, a, I love my streams. Hello, po Pogo, good, Pogo Noah. Ghost, here we come, absolutely. Timothy, thank you for harding me. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, let's go. So. All right, I have found a bone. I've got the EMF, but the problem is, is that I do not see anything on here. I don't see the temperatures dropping. Um, um, nope, we have everything under control. Everything's positive. Everything is good. Um, Kaylin, I'm doing well. It just, I cannot find the ghost. I don't want it to be a basement ghost, which I think it might be because I didn't turn on this light. So I'm hoping it's not a basement ghost, but um, 
let's see here. Do do. Tim's dropping in the living room. Okay. Um, I just jumped on. I've only been on for ten minutes. Let's see here. Let's go check the living room. Cause are you? Cause I got the EMF in the fr in that bedroom. Um. I don't. Cause this is where I got the EMF. So let's see if the temperature drops over here. Okay, so let's go out and get some more stuff. Oh shit. It shut the door. It shut the door on me. It shut the door on me. It shuts the door on me. I, I just, I read that your comment and I certainly will, but I'm not gonna stop my stream and do it right now. But thank you for always double checking my streams. Hello, hello, hello. The famous closet, I know, I know. I, I, Elizabeth, I thought about you when I, um, when I, when I bought this on Monday. I thought about you when I saw this. Okay, so what are we bringing in? We are playing this. Um, I might do some granny. And then I also might, uh, we're going to do 60 seconds. And we're going to see how long uh, I can live for. And I think it was just an event. Yeah, me too. And then um, I finished, I finally got past that one thing on In Sound Mind that I couldn't get past, but I got past that. So I'm super excited about that. And we'll be playing In Sound, um, in Sound Mind again tonight. <sighs> A room with light, yeah. Yeah, remember Elizabeth, where I was like on the conveyor belt and um, everything was just, it was so hard. It's taken me a couple of days to, to get past that. Hold on. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah, that was definitely not a hunt, but it was. It was something, all right. Okay, we got that there. Let me just put this down here. I got way too many lights on. So let's go ahead and go here. Oh, I need to go get that camera and take a pic. Definitely, he's getting pissed. Uh, Oh no, the real queen, I'm not connecting. Tina, thank you for my duck. Thank you for my ducks on parade. I got a mama duck and a baby duck and I got ducks on parade. I do love my ducks on parade. Okay, who am I going after again? Walter's getting a little cranky. Walter's getting a little cranky. Uh, let's see here. Ducks on Parade are, is definitely my favorite. So let's go ahead and put this right here. Then I want to take a picture of this at least. So that way I can get something. Chelsea, thank you for harding me. I appreciate that very much, everybody. Let's go ahead and I'm going to toss that down here. Let me check the temperature. Um, I did finish the goose game. I've got some extra credit stuff I can you do, but for now, I um, we're, we're going to be playing it again. Don't worry. I mean, I love my goose. Ah, oh, I can't see it. Oh, there it is. It's cold, but not freezing. Oh, I freak out every single time. I am like the world's most... Um, 
assistance ghost hunter, I guess you could say. What's extra credit for this ghost? I need to a motion sensor and a crucifix. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's go ahead and take care of that while we're here. So let's do that and let's put up the motion sensor maybe. Um, oh, Iris, are you kidding? I would, I want that. I want that. I want that. Okay, so that's for that. Let's go ahead and look at me go with my extra credit stuff. And let's put that right here. Okay, and let's go ahead for now. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's see if we can see orbs. And then, okay, Jamie, I'll be here. And then let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Place it more in the living room. I just don't know because I have to have it connecting the wall. I figure it's going to be chasing me at one point. They always do. And let's see if I can't put my dots right here. So let's go ahead and put my dots there. Oh, they just turned off that light. Let's go ahead and shut this. And let's go see what we can see. <sighs> Hello, Strawberry M. I know, we had some tough ones last night. Larissa, I love watching you play the games. I'm not much into games, but I love watching um, others play. Yeah, no, I... Um... Oh, shoot. I just dropped my GoPro. Hold on, everybody. Hello, Giggle Snooker. All right. Mason, thank you for my roses. And Chelsea, again, thank you for hearting me. I so appreciate you. And it's rainy. It's cold. I've got on the perfect hoodie. I have my blanket. Um, <sighs> yes, we definitely have an um, EMF-5. Ah, uh, Fee Mackie, thank you for my duck on parade. I got a mama duck and a baby duck. I have ducks on parade. All right, let's see if we see an orb. An orb would be nice. We have the EMF. Larissa, thank you for hearting me. Kit, Kitty's hand, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate you all so much. Alyssa, thank you. Ah, you know what? We need that duck song every single day. We always need ducks on parade. We need ducks on parade. Gino, um, should have had the GoPro on the tripod you bought last night. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, I don't see anything going through. <sighs> We definitely had an EMF um, with no ghost event. I was standing in the bedroom when we had it. So I'm confident that we have the EMF. I am going to go in. It did not. Oh, look, it already tripped the motion sensor. So I'm good with that. Um, let's see here. Still no orbs. I think that's a fairly decent place for the dots. Yeah, yeah. No, Gino, I've had these for a couple of years. I got these at um, Costco, and they are, oh, we just got dots. We just got dots, everybody. Did you see the ghost walk through the dots? Yeah, that's like the first time I've ever done good placement with the dots. Um, so I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So tonight, after we play this for a while, we're going to give um, 60 seconds a, a shot. And um, we're going to see what we think about that. Okay, so definitely I'm not seeing any, I'm not seeing any orbs at all. So, 
<gasps> Elizabeth, how fun. You're going to love it. You're going to love, love, love it. 60 seconds is a hoot. Yeah, I thought that that would be a fun thing for us to play. Oh, it's throwing stuff now. Uh, oh, there it went again. There it went again. Okay, so what do you think we should... Now, a raft won't step on salt, right? So maybe we can take some... Yep. Oh, Leaf, I am... You are teaching me so good. I remember things that you tell me. So I have the spirit box in there, so we're going to give that a go. It threw my book. It did... Or maybe I put the book in the wrong spot. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Let's try. It's definitely not freezing. So let's try the old spirit box, everybody. I don't know why this one scares me so much, but it does. Okay, definitely no. <sighs> Where's my, okay. Let's see what we can see. It was in here, so let's see if we have. No footprints at all. Huh, huh, huh. Let me, let's try putting that over here. And I'm gonna go out and think about this. Yeah, ah, Caitlin, thank you for, thank you for my heart hand, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm thinking wrath um, just because Oh, it's all pissed off now. Look at that. Def is like, don't you come in here. Hello, Gangle. How are you? Um, it's not asking it for, that's not one of the extra credits. So I'm going to wait until it, it asks for it on an extra credit before I go in with that. So... Now, a wrath is, a wrath is, that would be the spirit box, but I didn't get anything on the spirit box. Yeah. Back at it again, McCrazy. Uh, it will hunt you if you go back in right now. Yeah. It's all up in arms. It's just waiting for me to go back in. Hello, Melissa. Um, Farrell says, I played the beast inside today. First stream not playing. Um, well, I don't know. What is BG3? I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Lily Monster, thank you for harding me. Thank you, everybody. Allison, I am having a splendid day. Oh, bull. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a popular game. Allison, thank you again. That's a popular game. Um, oh, what do you want? That's a popular game. I don't know why I keep saying it, but that's a popular game. I don't want to go in, but I have to look. I have to look. No salt, no this, no that. Ah. Uh,
didn't have to say anything else. I was leaving. I was leaving. I was leaving. <sighs> okay, I cannot. Okay, let's look and see what we have because I'm not getting anything on the spirit box. So, uh, this one here. This one be, be orbs, but I just, again, I don't see any orbs. So I think we can cross off orbs, don't you think? Ah, um, uh, Melissa, thank you for my marvelous confetti. Lizzie, um, lots of ghost hunting. Lots and lots of ghost hunting. Do do. Yeah, let's cross off orbs because we definitely don't have that. So let's go. So it's an, oh no, oh no, oh no, would be freezing temps. Um, Amanda, thank you for the follow. Awesome, Melissa. I think it's an ask excellent way to celebrate. Uh, but... No, she's not here. She's working tonight, to, um, Tiffany. Uh, leaning towards a Yorgo. A Yorgo. It's ultraviolet. We can try that again. I mean, it's in there. No ghostwriting either, so let's... Same thing. Let's see what the activity's like. He's kind of calmed down a little bit. So... I said Jen was working tonight. Where's my little... Oh, look, it's throwing stuff all around. Where's my ultraviolet light? Do I have it in my hand? Oh, I have it in my hand. I'm like, where is this? Oh, ultraviolet. Did you see the footprint? I got the heck out of there. Um... Yeah. Did you see that? Yep. Okay. I'm like, all thing I had to do is see one look at it, and I was running out of there. <sighs> awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and say ultraviolet. We're going to cross that sucker, and we are getting the heck out of Dodge with our picture, our motion sensor. We didn't have to prevent a hunt, but we are good to go. All right, let's go. Next house, everybody. Next house. Yeah. Okay, nickname. I'll be here for a while. You know me. Would I go real life ghost hunting? Yeah, I would, but I wouldn't be like, but it, you know, it, I, I say yes in a very hesitant way because I, I would not go into one where there was a hostile ghost. But if there was like a presence, yes. But if there was like a demonic presence, no. If that makes any sense. Sam, thank you for the follow. Okay, next house. First live I've been for, I love it. Oh, Alyssa, I'm glad you're here. Yay. I tell you, once you're here, you're going to stay. This is an amazing place to be. Um, T. James, thank you for the follow. Let's ready up and see. And at, thank you for the follow. Nope. Would never mess with that. Mm -mm. Nope. And I don't even like, uh, I don't even do things like mediums or anything like that. I don't like people trying to connect with the un with the unalived but if one is like hanging out um and was just like hey i'm just gonna hang out here i would go check it out lori hall so i have to cleanse the area near the ghost with incense capture a photo and do the motion dispenser again scarlet thank you so much um i appreciate that um yeah, I've been worried about your weather up there, Angel. We got a lot of rain here, but nothing, nothing too, too bad. Okay, so I got my stuff. Let's go get Lori. 
uh, yeah, if it uh, comes to me, it's different, but activity trying to make contact with it is no go. Exactly. Exactly. I, I'm super like, I'm not going to mess with something that I don't know what I'm messing with. So I agree with you completely. Okay. Let's get going and see what we can find. Thank you, Scarlett. I appreciate that. Onyx, thank you for the follow. Hello, Naya. Uh, most people can't drive, period, Lucky. I was in LA the other day and it was not raining and I was scared poopless, man. People drive like they are on Fast and the Furious. And I don't know if I said that right, but the Fast and Furious, the Furious Fast, I don't know, they drive crazy. They just drive crazy. Do you feel like a pro at this? I, f I feel like I, I don't feel like a pro by any means but I feel like I have enough knowledge in this game now to, to make it interesting. And for me, that's a super win. Stayed in a hotel that was claimed to be haunted. I was lying in bed, not near the remote for the TV. And I bet you it turned on, right? Because that would freak me out. Thank you, I appreciate, appreciate that, Allison. You know, I, I like it to be fun and entertaining. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, we found some bones, everybody. We found some bones. Okay, Scarlett, I will be here in for the next um, six and a half hours. Okay, Angel. Ooh, that would, I would feel super fancy. Now, are there more houses than the ones that I have unlocked? Because I feel like I don't have very many houses to choose from. I have a lot of areas, but not very many houses because, I mean, the prison is so ginormous. So I'm kind of hoping. Oh, uh, why, 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 why do they have a little room in a room? Why do they have a little room in a room? That makes no sense, people. That makes no sense at all. Yeah, you know what? It's I'm gonna have to get better before I go um, hunting in the in the farmhouse because it is just so so confusing. I get lost all the time. Mm -mm. I just get so lost in the farmhouse. Bones, yep, I saw that, Ace. I would really... Tina, thank you for sharing my live. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm not picking up anything on the EMF, which is sometimes not surprising. Let me do a quick sweep. And then I will try... I heard something move. Did you hear that clank? Did you hear the clank? I think something got thrown around. Okay, we have an EMF-5. We got a 5. Thank you, Cynthia. So now let's try to find it with the thermometer. All right, let's find the cold room. Let's see, let's see. Because like I said, I heard the clanking. Hello, Ice, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, temperatures are going up in here, so this is not it. I'm doing good. I'm having a lovely day of rainy weather. Mm. Pretty sure we found the room. 
we got all sorts of stuff going on in here. Temperature. Temperature's dropping. All right, we found the room. Yep, Luna, I think so too. Bethany, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. All right, so let's figure out how in the heck. Okay, so it's up and around the corner. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't need that. I already got the EMF five. I don't need that. Okay. <sighs> All right. So let's take up the motion sensor and we got lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Oh, nope. Let's just grab this one. Let's get rid of that one. Let's take the camera. Let's take the motion sensor. Let's go get a picture of these bones. And we are going to take a picture of that. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Let's go grab. Hello, hello, everybody. If you just joined, I am playing Phasmophobia. And if you're not familiar with what that is, I am actually ghost hunting with ghost hunting doodads. And I found the room that the ghost is in. And now I am trying to get evidence of the ghost. So I got that there. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Let's check this while we have it. Okay, we have below freezing. So let's go ahead and go to, let's go to the little van and figure out some stuff. All right. Yeah. Oh, Amber, is she really? How fun. Chris, thank you for the follow. I, I think that that would, she would lo then absolutely love this game. I guarantee you that. Okay. So it's one of these, one of these, one of these. Um, so it's gotten a little bit more active. Okay. I got the um, motion sensor. So let's try to get this up there really quick. No, you know what? I'm going to come back for the dots because I'm going to take one of these puppies. All right, let's go put this up there. No, no, I, oh, shoot. I, um, I have never stopped because I was too scared. I get all creeped out. I make mistakes. I run into walls, but I've never um, stopped. <gasps> I don't know if you all saw that, but I sure as hell saw that. That was freaky. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go back outside really quick. And, and, no, we didn't play Goose yet today. We, we just jumped right in with Phasmophobia. And, oh. I think I have it pointed the wrong way. Darn it. So let's go in with that and let's go in with this. I got scared and I put the camera going the wrong way. I run into the walls all the time, especially like when they start their hunting. I will be just like, yep, nope, I'm good. Let's put that there. Let's pick this up. And let's put this right here. And I'm getting very, the ghost is telling me it's not happy and I'm trying to listen and be respectful. <sighs> I think, let's see what we got this time. All 
All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Any orbs, any orbs, any orbs? Ah, Tina, thank you for sending out some subs. Tina, you're amazing and sending out some gift subs. Everybody, if you just got a gift sub, that was from Tina. Those are good for one month. And then after that, it's $2.99 a month. Um, and you can thank Miss Tina for that. I know SWI Kago got one. Chris, um, Christian just got one. And congratulations. Congratulations. Um, AK Cheka1528, thank you for the follow. Hello, Daria. Sarah, thank you for the follow. Yay, Vanessa, thank you for the follow. The Jellyfish Queen, Iris, just sent out another five gift subs. Yay! We are on a subscription roll. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Iris, for the gift subs. I'm going to stand here and look at the dots. Vanessa, thank you for hearting me. <sighs> that was thundering lightning. It's a subway. Um, how long do you have to watch the computer to not miss something? I don't think that it's going to be dots, um, truthfully. I was just kind of sitting here, just kind of mentally resetting, trying to figure out what I want to do next. All right, everybody, so let's figure this out. So if it's a gin, we need the ultraviolet. So I guess we're going up with an ultra, oh, the ultraviolet. Where's my ultraviolet at? Hello, Sage. Um, let's see here. Uh, I just know Dots took a minute to show. Caitlin, thank you for my Corgi. Yay, Corgis. Corgis with a heart on the box. Oh, it's in my hand. Okay, yeah, I'm a little sketched out. Um, let's try that and the spirit box. All right, everybody, we're going back. I just don't know why this one's scaring me so much, but it is. Let's go. I'm thinking we're going to find a handprint, but that's just my opinion. Or maybe not. Oh, we just found the handprint. Handprint, everybody. We found the handprint. <gasps> okay. So we have the handprint. So it's a gin. All right. So now we're going to try to get some extra credit just because I think we should. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I just took a... No, darn it. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to carry this in. I'm going to carry this in, and I'm going to carry the bone out. So, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. And then we're going to drop that. We're going to pick... Pick it up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Okay. <sighs> Aren't the pink beans? Those are little jelly beans. Those are the little sweet beans. Okay. So now what we're going to do, again, we're going to just go for some extra credit because we can. And we're going to drop that. And let's try... Uh, Nicole says, hey, Mama Lonnie and Beans, hope you're all as well. I also love watching you play Fasmo. Yay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Arm, Armadia, thank you so much for hearting me. I appreciate you. All right, let's try to go burn some incense. Will that piss it off? If I burn incense, will it make it mad? 
So you can clean the bedroom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because it says right here, clean the area near the ghost room. Um, probably. It, do you think it's worth going back in for the extra credit? Okay. See, I'm thinking that I'm going to go in. Because I've never done that before. Um, I've never done that before. So, okay, let's just try it. Um, today is the day we're going to be brave. Yes. Because you know what? I mean, even if, even if something happens, Okay, let's put that here. Let's go ahead and put that here. How do I activate my, oh, I already, I'm activating it. Oh, look. All right, so now we're gonna get the heck out of Dodge. Ren, walk fast, walk as fast as you can. Oh, my Lanta, walk faster. Okay, I thought, that's right, and the beanets, that's right, darn it. See, I thought I was going to have to light it on fire, but I didn't realize it automatically was just like, shh. Okay, so I'm feeling very accomplished at this moment. Yeah, no, I was, I was trying to figure out where to set it down so I could light it, and it was burning in my face. Okay, I think we did good. Look, the only thing I, I'm not going to do is try to take a picture of it um, because I'm just not that brave. So let's go ahead and I got the gin. We are going to get going. I'm proud of us too. I think we are turning into class A1 ghost hunters. That's what I'm saying. Like it, <coughs> like it does go. I didn't get a picture of the ghost, but I'm okay with that. I got a bonus. I got rewards. And I took photos. $345 isn't bad. You know? It, it's, it's, nothing to, it's nothing to sneeze at. Okay, so let's go to Ridgeview Court. <sighs> this one has three stories and 16 bedrooms. So we are going to have to be on our, um, Eva, thank you. Eva, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. And, oh, you played this with your mom. I play with my son sometimes and they are just off doing their ghost hunting thing and the ghost just comes up and it kills me. So this was like 16 bedrooms. After this, I think we're going to do um, 60 seconds. And then after that, we are going to do um, In Sound Mind. And then depending on how long I play that, we are probably going to end with a round of Granny. <gasps> Caitlin, thank you for my ducks on parade. I have a mama duck and a baby duck and I have ducks on parade. I feel like that's what I do, too. I just walk around following my, my kids, trying to make sure that they're okay, and I think I just piss off the ghost. Okay, so exotic. I can get extra credit for the microphone on this one, and I will try my bestest for you. Weather today is cloudy, cold, and rainy. Puppy love, thank you for the follow. Let's go find the house. Um, I know. You know, for these people having these fancy houses, they have a lot of ghost problems. They definitely have some ghost infestations. Do, do, oh, really, Farrell, where do you live? Because we've had really nice weather here in Southern California. But today was cold, and then we're expecting um, rain all next week. Which Angel, a lobster's mom, lives up in Northern California. 
and they've been having rain a lot, but we haven't. Oh, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, very cool. Nothing, 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 nothing yet. No bones, no EMF. Let's keep going. Hello, Brainheart. How are you? Let's go, let's go. Let's a nice little bathroom ghost would be awesome. But it doesn't look like we got one. Mia, thank you so much for the roses. Oh, we have the haunted mirror. So I got that. Oh, and we have that too. So we have a lot of clues right here already. Um I know. I have I have um a winter jacket that I have just been wanting to wear and I have not been able to wear it and I'm kind of bummed. No, I've never used the mirror. Brandon uses my oldest, no, my youngest son uses the mirror all the time, but I've never used the mirror. Timothy, I did the prison. No, wait, I did the asylum. I did the asylum with Robert, but I don't think I've ever tried the prison. Is the prison super dark? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that. I'm going to drop this. And I'm going to go get my camera. Do you have a big PC set up to... Oh, I have... Um, I mean, I have a, a gaming computer. And then I have two monitors, camera, ring lights, microphone, and all of that. And I am going to do a little uh, TikTok showing you all my setup. I was trying to read the comments and I ran into the wall. Okay, so let's get a picture of this. And let's pick it up. Blah. And then let's get a picture of this. And then let's put this down. Let's go grab a couple of other things and then we'll go upstairs. That's a bone, all right. That is definitely a bone. And, okay. So let's go on in. No, it, oh, the name is Kenneth Han, Kenneth, Kenneth Hans. We're going to make him fancy and call him Hans. Kenneth Holmes. And let's grab that. You know, I tried Granny Remake and did not care for that at all. It was too, I don't know, it was too, too flashy. There was just, it, I didn't like it. I mean, I, I know everybody has their own preference but I just didn't really care for that just because of the graphics and everything. Um, it just wasn't my cup of tea. Nothing here. Oh, we found it. We have icky water. We have a bathroom ghost, everybody. We have some EMF. Temperatures are going down. All right, let's go get our stuff. We have a bathroom ghost. We have a ghost in the bathroom. And I'm lost. Going from the bathroom. And let's go out and get... We have a bathroom ghost. Doo -doo. All right, let's go get this. So we have, we have dish, and we have this. All right, let's see what we can do, everybody. Oh, I'll take a bathroom ghost over a basement ghost 
any old day. Okay, if I remember correctly, it was around the corner. Yep, right in here. So let me go ahead and drop this one. And then let me put this right here. Timothy, thank you so much. Timothy just sent out a gift sub. And that went to Eva. You just got a gift sub. That's good for one month. And then after that one month, if you want to resubscribe, it's $2.99 a month. And thank you. Thank you, Timothy. That was really cool. All right. So let's see what we got here. Let's go see if we can't see something. Um, have you tried Beast Inside? I don't know what sort of things wouldn't it be approved of. You know, I um, looked at, oh, I don't need that. I looked at that, and for some, there was something. I'll have to look at that one again. But I am very, uh, TikTok is the only platform that I game on, so I have to be very careful on content. And then also, too, it doesn't help that I have to play first um I have to play first uh, person games. I don't, um, I can't figure out how to do, oh, we have UV. So we have ultraviolet. Um, so I have all sorts of, <laughs> I have all sorts of things that I can and cannot do. And then let's go ahead and put this here. All right, we have UV. And let's get the heck out of here really quick. Let's go check our dots. Uh, so what is okay? I missed a couple of the content, the comments. But is that a good? Is it a good? Um, is it a good game? I missed the comments on that one. Sorry, everybody. <gasps> we have orbs. But they knocked my uh, they knocked my camera down. Shared with my stream with my mom. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I did check the temperatures. They were cold, but they're not freezing. But I did see an orb. Did you all see that? Hello, Cole. Because there's no way. Um, okay, I was like verification that you all saw it too. All right, everybody, we're going to hydrate for sure tonight. So make sure you have some water and we're going to take our first hydration break. So hydration station, everybody. Hydration station. All right. Hello, Jessica. Okay, so let's go ahead and say orbs. So it's either a banshee, a hantu, or obake. And neither one of those sound nice. So ultraviolet lights go, the EMF 5. We didn't get a 5, did we? We just got a little bit of a reading. Um... Um, yeah, no, I'm only here. I'm only here on TikTok. Um, do, do, do. So I don't know what to do. I don't know. I guess I'll go up with, and then I'll go up with my microphone. All right, let's see what we can do, everybody. Is it, is it all restless right now? It's not bad. Um, Sally, it definitely takes, I think it takes a little practice, um, hunting on your own, but I absolutely, I think it's scarier and I like the whole, like, I don't know. I think it's a little bit creepier hunting on your own. So I definitely like that. All right. So let's go ahead and put that here. 
Where's my camera? Where's my camera, dude? Where'd you do with my camera? Oh, there it is. Let's put this back. Let's put that back right here. Let's check the temperatures. Oh, the temperatures are below freezing. Okay, got it. Temperatures are, oh, below freezing. I'm just going to try to get out. I just want to get out. Okay. This is a, a microphone. Um, and I was just trying to get, um, I was trying to get extra credit. Um, so it was like, um, it, I was supposed to be able to hear it. Oh, wow, you're building a, a clock out of a wood bowl. That's awesome. So we got freezing temperatures. So we have our Mr. Hantu Solo. Ah, I cracked myself up. Okay, so I tried, I tried, I tried. Um, <laughs> you like that? Happy Thursday, Austin. How are you? You think it could be a mimic? So what is a mimic? A mimic would be freezing temperatures. Oh, the, old, the spirit box. Adriana, this is called phasmo, um, phasmophobia. Um, mimics always have ghost orbs for fourth evidence. Do you think I should go back up with the spirit box and just check? I mean, it's up there. Okay. Because today's the day that we're not, I'm not going to be a big chicken. So I'm going to take another cross just in case. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's see if anything. Oh, I see. But did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Yeah. So what does that mean, though? Because, uh, so if we do, I have too many things. Yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. I actually, ha I, I like made up a mock um, ghost hunting simulator in my house and I was practicing dots and I'm just really kidding. Uh, see. Okay, we're going to have to figure this one out. And I'm thinking, do you think maybe because I thought I saw an orb? I wonder if I'm getting this wrong. See, because now I don't see the orbs. You see orbs? I did have, I absolutely have freezing temperatures and I absolutely have UV. 
And there's no orbs now for some reason. But I saw them before also, Ace. But I also saw it when my camera was knocked down. Yeah, I'm going to have to, um, I know Bree Bree, me too. Let's talk the box thingy. I think we should probably try the box talking thingy also. But it's really kind of weirding me out that I don't see orbs right now. Because usually if you see orbs, you see them all over the place. And I don't see any now. But they were there on the floor for sure, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to put ghost orb. I'm going to keep this circle just in case. Just in case I don't make it back out. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in, everybody. How's my sanity? I'm pretty crazy for going back in. Okay. Thing too. Hello, Pandora. Any thoughts on what I should do before I leave? Oh, it just threw that. Well, I shut the door for sure this time. So let's see what we can see. I didn't see any UV, yeah. There's nothing's happening right now. Okay, I just saw the orbs. Did you see the orbs? Okay, we definitely have orbs. We definitely have orbs. Yep. So we definitely have orbs. We had ultraviolet earlier, and then we had freezing temperatures. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a, a hand too also, because there was nothing on the spirit box, and the spirit box would have been for the mimic was the spirit box. So, yep. I went back in, and I braved that just to make sure, everybody. Yeah, this is me being very proud of myself. Okay, let's pack it up and let's go to the next one. 
I know, I told you I was not going to be a chicken tonight. I was going to be all brave. I'm a brave ghost hunter. Brenda, thank you for my heart and my roses. <sighs> well, it was the correct ghost. Um, I didn't make a whole lot of money, but I didn't lose any either. So I'm happy about that. Yay! Yay! Do do, and I'm thinking it's cool. All right, let's go. Hello, Shannon. Yeah, you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. So what happens when I'm a level 18? Uh, I, I didn't shave my head. I actually buzzed my head, and I, I think I, it's a really cool hairstyle. I mean, why does anybody cut their hair the way that they cut their hair? I mean, if I had a bowl cut, would you be like, what made you want to have a bowl cut? It's just, I think it's a, a pretty hairstyle. Um, let's ready up, everybody. Oh, yeah, at level 17. Oh, yeah, Emmy, I mean, to me, it's just, it's a really, I think it's a really cool hairstyle. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I truthfully, I look back at other pictures of when I didn't have a buzz cut. <gasps> Girl, I look like Florence Henderson's Carol Brady's evil twin sister, man. It was not looking good on me. All right, Jane does not sound very friendly. And we... You can never say you have a fat head. You don't have a fat head. You have a perfect head. Everybody is perfect. Yes, I looked weird. I mean, uh, I looked like, uh, I looked, I don't know. I looked, it, would, it didn't fit my entire look. Let's just put it that way. I definitely, um, I definitely rocked the buzz cut more. Yes, and then I found that really good barber in town because earlier this week I went to go buzz my own hair, my own hair and I put the wrong uh, guard on my razor and I gave myself a bald spot right there, So, which I think is hilarious. And you know what, truthfully, I think we put way too much emphasis on hair and hairstyles and I thought it was pretty funny. I cracked up. Thank you, Tina. I've, that's the second time I've buzzed, um, <laughs> that's the second time I've buzzed bald spots into my hair or into my head. And each time I do, I just laugh it off and I just keep going. Because like I said, sometimes we just get so wrapped up on like hairstyles and having to look perfect. And I'm just like, whatever. Whatever. Mama Fee, thank you for my roses. Thank you for my roses. Thank you for my roses. Joshua, thank you for my roses. I appreciate you. Oops. That's a door. That's a door. Oh, please don't be a basement ghost. Please don't be a basement ghost. Because this, this particular house has a gazillion basement places. Uh-oh. And we have a basement ghost, everybody. We have a basement ghost. And I just said, please don't let it be a basement ghost. And it's a basement ghost. Um, <laughs> 18, yeah, at, yeah, that was me. That was me when I had hair. And um, yes, and it's funny how it's like, you either, I, I personally think either people either really love it or they really hate it. And either way, it's I like it, so I mean, I think that that's what's important. Yeah, I that would be a good one, going up in the attic. Okay, so I have all sorts of evidence. Okay, it 
It just turned off the breaker. Okay, everybody. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be right here, just because of everything thrown around. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to go grab my camera and go start bringing some stuff in. Yeah, definitely. Did you see how fast it turned off my light? Immediately, it was like, nope, no thank you. Get the salt and call Sam and Dean. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we got here. I need this. And I need this for now. Oh, wow. It's all over the place. Cleanse the area. Using incense. Detect the ghost motion. Um, okay. I got all sorts of things I got to do, peeps. All sorts of things that we got to go. Let's hopefully I make it out of this one. Let's hope I make it out on this one. So let's go there. And let's take a picture of this. I hate walking over the top of that. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to take this little skull home with me for just shits and giggles. And we're going to leave that there. All right, everybody. Ah, ah, there they are. <sighs> yes. And I, look at me. This is my stamina. I can't even walk briskly to the front door. Yeah, I was, um, I was um, on here the other day and somebody was like, yeah, if I run into a basement ghost, I just um, quit and start over. And I'm like, I do not blame you. Okay, and let's grab the motion sensor. All right. She really does. You know what? Maybe not even so much cardio, but maybe just like go to the doctors and figure out why she can't walk like five steps without um, having um, an issue. I would be more concerned about my health than anything else. Okay, there's that. Hopefully it's a very tall ghost. And then, uh oh Okay. It's getting pissed. Okay, I have my incense. Why isn't it burning up? We're going to put this here. All right, so let's go. Let's go get our camera and our dots. Oh, right click. Yeah, no, I'm right clicking. No, it did. It's... Um, Oh, because I don't have matches with me. Ooh. I thought I, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, got it now. See, look, I'm still learning stuff. I am still like in the junior ghost hunting department, but my supervisor says that I have potential. So um, he says to keep trying. I got the um, I got the rookie of the month award. Okay. Okay. Now let's go get our camera and our dots. And that was um, just so you had more of a live experience of listening to what the incense sounded like when it was burning. So that was, um, that was um, your, your I, I wanted to make it more realistic for you. 
It was spot on, huh? It almost felt like, you know, it was like actually on fire. So let's go. What do I need? It's going to be spirit box, ghost orbs, and ghost writing. Okay. So let's go there. And let's go there. Can we use the books? Um, you mean to put my stuff on it? Wicked Witchy, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Catherine, thank you for my rose. And Hannah, thank you for my team bracelet and for hearting me. I appreciate you, everybody. I appreciate you, everybody. I appreciate you, everybody. And I think we're going to try to put... I don't really care for... I guess that's the best we can do. And then for now, let's see, can I do, I'll just put this down here for now. And then I'll come back up with my little stand. <gasps> Nickname, how I, heck are you? Okay. I think the breaker is in here, right? If I remember correctly. Oh no, is the breaker not in here? For some reason I thought the breaker was in here. Maybe it's around the corner. Run, 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 run. Breaker, is okay. All right. What did you make for dinner? It switches between basement and garage, okay. Of course it's down with the ghost. Why would it not be down with the ghost? You know, any other reason? Homemade chicken strips and french fries. That sounds really good. Did you like dip it in ranch dressing or something? Cause you know, we all need ranch dressing. Okay, so let's go, whoa. What the heck happened? Oh. And then let's go E. Let's stand up. Let's put this right here. Let's pick this up. And we're going to put it right here. I'm just doing horrible, horrible, horrible. E. Let's just put it right here. Well, that's as good as that's going to get. Let's go find this breaker. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's on. Ah, get out, want to get out. So we're going to do a quick little... in the basement. All right, let's go look. No, it's, um, I have it set up so that it's like a text to talk. So when I click on those um, questions, it's like actually asking it. Yeah, it's on text mode. Um, Leaf showed me that and it's like the coolest thing. Yeah, I suggest, I mean, I really like that a lot. Okay, everybody, let's see what we can see. 
Not a horrible placement, but not the best either. But I don't see any orbs for a mare. You do that through, um, after this is over with, I'll show you how to do that. So I don't see any orbs, y'all. I don't see any orbs. Okay, so that was horrible for that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you're re -ble bleaching your hair. Okay. Yeah, nope, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I set up in the exact wrong spot. And so since we think it's a mare, uh, I have all my stuff done in the wrong spot. Let's go ahead and just circle that just in case I don't make it back out alive. Um, Are we allowed to eat beans the food if we are a sub? Is, no, um, I'm a vegetarian and that's about all I eat. So I do the whole like my beans give me substance. Um, thankful, you know, little thankful chant before I eat beans. Okay. Yep. All right, let's go back and take a look and see if we can't find the room. Because, again, I don't think I'm in the right spot. You know, I'm going to give myself an A for effort for um, setting up so nicely in the wrong spot. But I'm definitely not in the right spot. Temperatures are going up here. Okay, we have some something thrown around here, but the temperatures are going up. And then here, temperatures are going up. Aw, <sighs> Ace. Yep, I have my beanie right here for tonight. Look, it even matches my hoodie. I'm all about matchy match tonight. I think I'm going to go wild and crazy tonight. And I do believe I might actually see because look at the temperatures here. Pandora, I'm thinking um, I was going to do a toasted peanut butter and honey Uncrustable. Emma, thank you so much for my roses. See, I think we're in the right spot here. I think maybe I just have my cameras set up wrong. So we're definitely in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, no, Chelsea. Okay, so... Yeah, I hate that when that happens. Okay, so... I mean, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. She just got me. I hate basement goats. <sighs> this is called phasmophobia. Yeah, I know. It wasn't a mare. Hopefully my insurance kicks in. Yep. So. <sighs> yes, Leaf. Good night, Deliard. It, and this is called phasmophobia. I know. I actually make more money when, I, I, when I'm not successful for some reason. So let's try this one again. Yeah. Okay. So let's try this one again. Let's start. Okay. Do, do, I'm so excited, mm, 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 so excited. Get that insurance money. I know when I die, I'm like, that's okay, I have insurance. You know? And it helps pay for all the shit I just lost. Okay, let's go get Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. Let's just go see how you're going to... Um, it's always in different places. Listen, Linda, you know what? You didn't, your friend didn't play very nice last time. So you and I are going to have to have a little talk. And straight on, we find a bone. All right, we have a bone, everybody. So I think I'm going to play this a little bit differently. And I'm going to actually turn on my EMF reader. We're going to drop that, we're going to drop that, and I'm going to start bringing my stuff in the house right away. <laughs> Listen, Linda, this is not cool, all right? The way that you're treating me does not make me feel very warm and fuzzy, so you just need to knock this shit off, Linda. Yeah, maybe if I like start shit-talking the ghost, it will be nicer to me. Maybe I can intimidate... Um, Maybe I can intimidate the ghost into just giving up. And there we go. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yep. You know, it's it's something that I would do for the um for the ghost hunting bean society. You know, I would aggravate the ghost just to just to try to, you know, to keep us safe. All right, let's go everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. take that let's take that and since I am just a one-man crew it takes me a little bit longer to just get everything in here yeah just piss it off for obedience yeah listen here Linda I need to speak to your manager you know who's the head ghost around here because I got a beef to talk to them about <laughs> Your mom would talk to them about, like, their crimes. I love that. Okay, so let's get one of these and one of these, and let's go find the room. Because there's some activity going on. I saw that. All right, all right, all right. Okay, and it's messing with the with the uh, let's go get the keys hello
Hello, Caitlin, how are you doing today? Oops. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, temperatures look pretty chilly in here, so let's see what this one. Yeah, if, it, if your ghost ever does that, the car keys are usually by the front door. Um, set up in garage, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It just, um, do you, because I know sometimes I set up on the, oh, I'll set up. Actually, I think I have enough stuff that I can set up on both sides. But is, do you think this side's a little bit cooler? <sighs> okay, that's enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and Oh, we just got a five. And um, what do you think? Hey, listen, Linda. I can do this here because I have enough that I can actually, let's go ahead and do this and do this. Hurry, 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 Lonnie. I can put this, nope, no, I cannot put that there. So let's go ahead and put this here. And let's put this here. Nope, that's pointing right at the car. So let's put this here, and let's put this here. I guess that's a little better. It's not great, but it's a little better. Not great, but a little better, everybody. Okay, let's go get some more stuff. Let's go get some more stuff. Yeah, I was thinking, because I have enough stuff in the van, I can actually put stuff on both sides. Um, doo -doo -doo. So let's take one of these. And let's take one of these. And then I'll put a cross on both sides too. You know what, Chelsea? This is a really cool game concept, especially because to me, I've played some other games and it's they almost don't have the realisticness that this one has. And I really like that about this one. It just feels it feels realistic for me for some reason. I feel like I like an actual ghost hunter. Okay. And then let's put, oops, let's go ahead and go. Okay, 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 let's try a little bit more. Let's get across. We need to carry the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, I did not know that. Thank you so much. I love that, thank you. And then let's put you know and here's the thing is is I'm really weird about that I don't necessarily want to exercise the ghost I just want to find the ghost I figure all that other stuff I'll leave that up to the other um, I'll leave that to, up to other people I just really just want to um, I just really want to find the ghost I just really want to be like oh this is the type of ghost you are I don't need to do any of the other stuff. I don't know if my placement's okay, but let's just go take a look. Um, we got 
nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Okay. All right, let's go see what we can find on. <sighs> my camera is backwards. I thought I very carefully put my camera. Which one? Whoa, did you see that? I thought I just saw the ghost. Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> Jeremy, you're like, yeah, you saw that because it just walked by you. <sighs> Definitely dots. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and say that we have dots. Okay, so I'm assuming we know what side of the garage that it's on. And we have orbs. There's an orb. So we have dots and an orb. Okay. Yes, Angel, I remember that. Down to Wrath Oni. No, I didn't have an EMF 5. Do you, did I have an EMF 5? I didn't think... I didn't think I did. I thought I had an EM. Or did I? I thought I did too. Yeah, maybe I did. So then it's this one. Right, when you walked into the garage, it was EMF. Okay. Well, heck, dog, look at that. We got it then. Because the extra credit is... I don't really want to escape a ghost hunt. Okay, I just forgot to put it in the book because I got excited. Capture a photo. And now we can leave, yeah. All right, so if this is correct, do you all want to try that 60 seconds? Do you want to, do you want to try that one out? Bye, Linda. Okay. All right. We are going to end on a streak then. I've never played it before. I've just heard. Um, I, I, okay. So we're going to have to. Um, we're going to have to. We're going to have to see how we like this. See, look at how much money I have. I got lots of money. What is this? Looks like a shark. Oh, that's a microphone. Um, there's sanity. I have a lot of things unlocked. Did I get up to an 18 yet? Oh, I'm a level 18 now. Look at me go. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're going to learn together because I know nothing about it also. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So I'm just going to stop saying okay, and we are going to leave the game. Are you sure? Yes. I think we need a hydration break and a bathroom break and a snack break. I really need to stop co-signing things I don't know about. That's okay. I do that. I do that all the time. Okay, so let's go ahead And I'm just going to put this. Scarlet, nope. I just, we just got another ghost. We're starting a new game right now. Pretty graphics. Thank you, Tina. on 
this music, I'm going to leave. So you're going to have to listen to the... Oh, you know what? I'll exit. Okay, I'm going to go to the restroom. I will be right back. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do that. To, oh, yes, I am. We can all enjoy. We can all enjoy a little happy music. All right, everybody, break. Go to the bathroom, get some water, get some snacks, and meet back here in two minutes. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's do this, let's do this. I am so excited to try this. I'm so excited to try this. All right, let's go, everybody. So let's go to new game. Select the type of atomic adventure. What do we want? Do we want the tutorial 100% approved by the establishment? Perfect your post-apocalyptic skills and unlock fancy rewards in these special challenges, adventures, scavenge, experience one on kind of the full atomic experience, scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive. I don't know. Okay, so let's do the drill, just because I've never played this one before. Okay, begin adventure. Okay, soup can be stored up for 737 years, all right? Welcome to your atomic scavenge drill. Pay attention, you might just make it. Hold and grab control to skip my words, but every time you do... Um, uh, okay. Set. Good job. Okay. One more time. You know the drill. Oh, Lord, I am not going to make a... We're not going to make it very far, everybody. Oh, there it is. Up. Oh. Not bad, but you better be good in shape. There is more where that came from. Lucy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Fun time is over. It's a matter of life and death. Now find your son, Timmy, ASAP. Happy birthday, Lucy, to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucy. Happy birthday to you. Good thing you don't know the... What do I need now? Oh, grab Timmy. Oh, I, oh, okay. I kind of smacked him. 
That's it. Consider taking other family members too. I'll leave the um, exact priorities to you. Oh, we got to take her. Timmy is safe. So find the highlighted soup can and grab it. Highlighted soup can. Y'all, I don't think we're going to make it very far. Um, highlighted soup can. Highlighted soup can. Okay. Does anybody see the highlighted soup can? What you're looking for is a highlighted soup can. Grab it when you find it. Keep digging. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay, I found it. Okay. Let's find the other one. Find the highlighted one. Is there another one? All right, all right. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. I don't see it. I don't see it, but I'm looking. I'm getting better at this. I'm getting better at this. I keep telling myself that, but I'm getting better at this. A bunch of soup. But they weren't highlighted. See, it won't let me grab it. Let's go find the highlighted one. Oh, there's soup there, too. Bottle of water, you need that, trust me. Okay, if I knew where the bottled water was, dude, I would grab it. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. That's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, Buster. Uh-oh. You can only carry so much, and every um, item weighs at least one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you pick up more. Okay. And how do I do that? Drop whatever you're carrying down. Okay, I k dropped my kid, water, and soup down there. Bingo. You've got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. All right, so let's get her now. No one knows how long you'll be staying down there, so you need a radio. Oh, does that look like a radio? Nope. Um, I'm just running into stuff, everybody. So the radio, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm getting faster, I'm getting faster. Can you find your own radio check? That's, uh, that's it, nothing more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. Okay. Okay, I threw that down there. Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings, but after it goes off, you need to start packing. Collect five items to drop before the siren. Okay, so I can't collect her. I would probably go into the kitchen and collect. Okay, now I can collect. Okay, okay, I'm collecting. Oh no, this is stressful. I gotta get my wife down there. All right. Okay. All right, so what now, what now? Oh, let's get this gun. Because you know what, we need a gun. We need more soup, we need water. Oh, oh. Get some water. Oh, we need a flashlight. We need a flashlight, everybody. Ah, get a flashlight, Lonnie. Uh, okay. Now you've got, now you know how to get what you need to survive, but your training is, I'll see you downstairs for survival training. Okay. Whew. I was trying to get the map, but the thing went off.
No, my son was already down there. I put him down there first. This game is stressful, Lonnie, but you got this. Absolutely. Okay. We look like a very happy family, don't we? We only have three bottles of water. Day one, you made it to the shelter, congratulations, but the drill is not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you, nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive. Down here while the world outside burns, explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out uh, useful things about your shelter and the inhabitants when your survival journal is not open yet or hidden. First things first, we must ration food and water if you don't wine and dine yourself and the folks. You brought with you, you can bet your bottom dollar none of them will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture of the can or bottle under the portrait or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to the food, the longer you deny your people's rations, the weaker they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it will take quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. Time to ration supplies. What's left? Okay. SA says, just a tip, only give them water when it says they're dehydrated and food when starving. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I think this is cool. I mean, it's something definitely different. Um, okay. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation um, hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Let's go get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow night. Yeah, Jay, I think it's a fun. Okay, look, I already have a beard. Um, okay. My wife looks pissed at me, doesn't she? I, I, you know what, I have a flashlight. Okay, good morning, survivalists. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it since you're staying here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing since you need to do it every day, but after that, we will move into something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen, there is a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but the food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner. And then you can say corn dog. So sometimes you will need to send people to the surface to bring back more supplies. Oh, I already know my wife is going up. She's got an attitude. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though. Tired survivors can never be apart from an expedition. Today we will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Ted says there's no need to worry about it. He's okay. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Like a good scout he is, Timmy is making the best of the situation. He even seems cheerful. Anne, how are you? Time to ration supplies. What's left? Nope, nobody's eating or drinking today. I'm just sorry about that. Okay, sending people outside into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask and then you can bet it's a suicide mission for sure. Send healthy and well-fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you will need to send someone out, but Aha! but if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't um, select anyone who should go outside. I don't know. Who do you want to send outside? Do you want to send Ted, me, Dolores, Mary Jane, or Timmy? Who do you think should go? I'm thinking Timmy, but the wife, okay. I, yeah, you know what? She kind of just... Timmy, okay. 
Jessica, thank you for hiding me, and Emma, thank you for my roses. Okay. You have to have at least one adult at all times. The wife does have a tube, though. It's radioactive outside. Ah, Jen, thank you for my ducks on parade. We have a mama duck and a baby duck, and we have ducks on parades. Um, uh, let's just go with Timmy. He looks healthy and he looks like he could run in and run out really quick. What's next? Survive the atomic drill. Okay, I did that. Okay, we're sending Timmy. Nope, we're sending Timmy. All right, little Timmy, you can do it. I don't have the gas mask, but hopefully he comes back. This is a drill. You are an explorer, as so your explorer will come back after a little while. But in an event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the meantime, you will be faced with other problems um, that will test your, you to your limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what um, clay, what day you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Dolores will not last long without water. All right, so... Good night, Charlotte. All right, so I guess we're going to... Give her a little water. And then her a little water. Okay. I'm, I'm an angry man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours now. Picture the scenario you come across your kid's hamster who in some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? Are we cooking the hamster? Jessica, thank you for my team bracelet. Oh, we don't have, we're not going to live long, but this is just... It... But it's... Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> we could use the hamster as a little pillow. All right, let's cook the hamster. Good choice. Everyone had a bite. And fresh meat will not be easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can to eat. Believe me, you will find yourself and your family in more and more dire circumstances than this. And there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. So I'm going to take a little drink of water. You might uh, be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might find you don't have the one item that was supposed to save the day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind every time that every time can be used for something. Oh, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play shadow bunnies using your flashlight. Lacey, thank you for hurting me. Oh, uh, okay. Catherine, thank you for sending me my, my heart. I appreciate that. Clean the light rifle. I just ate a hamster 
and that really upset me so I don't really care about keeping everybody happy so I'm gonna clean my gun I ate a hamster so this is just there's I'm not here for your entertainment this is survival yeah I was thinking I wasn't gonna use the flashlight and I didn't want to use the radio just in case we had to listen for something survival we're on day five everybody good thinking keep your weapons in working order is your number one priority remember even oh timmy came back my kid came back i wonder if he brought anything um remember even if they do get damaged you might be able to repair them with some good old-fashioned american engineering though and maybe some chewing gum and a shoelace. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies. Sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want these things. You don't want to get these things. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as sound as it funds. Yeah, Timmy survived. Brady Dice, thank you for sharing my follow. I know he didn't even have a, he didn't even have a gun. I, I'm very proud of him. Okay, um, your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after a proper use of the first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. Ted is no longer thirsty. Oh, Timmy got hurt. Timmy should eat something. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Everything seems okay with Dolores. All right, so we need to feed him. Okay, so he got some soup. Um, you need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what happened in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This was a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance to get out of the foxhole hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. Oh, very good. I thank you for that. Okay. You've only sent this is day six. We've only just sent someone to the outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time, you were only asked to pick one unlucky, um, one brave volunteer to save the day. This time, you will also get a chance to equip your explorer with some useful gear. Feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Timmy should eat something. Walter is what uh, Mary needs. Walter is what Mary needs right now. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. What does it mean, Walter, is what Mary needs? Um, Kim, I'm just on, t I stream off a of TikTok's uh, app. Oh, water. I saw Walter. I'm like, why does she need, who's Walter? <laughs> I'm like, damn. She's only been down here for six days and she's already looking for a new husband. Dad is not complaining today, at least not very much. Okay, so let's go. Uh-oh. Okay. Anything could be useful outside, and some items even improve scavengers' chances for survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead, pick something. Hmm. It doesn't let me pick anything. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We're starting to look a little rough. Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. You can trust me on that. Your one chance is your boys arriving to the rescue. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the U.S. military and a way to rescue. Timmy should eat something. Timmy prefers apple juice, but right now he should. you should get him some water. Where is water when Ted needs it? Mary, Mary is no longer thirsty. Dolores is no longer thirsty. No, no, no. The rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come and get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be um, ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be your only soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse. Um, just imagine what will happen if the uh, if they discover you. So let's agree to the rules for the drill. You only open the door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. All right, everybody. Two knocks. Chels, thank you for my team bracelet. No, I think it's more fun. Yeah, and we only answered if it's two knocks. Chels, thank you for my ducks on parade. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, thank you for sending out my gift subs. Yay! Thank you, Tiffany, for sending out some gift subs. Everybody check and see if you got a gift sub. And if you did, those are from Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. All right, let's do this. I have a, a crustable in me. Let's go. Okay, day eight. Aw, Chels just sent out some gift subs also. Thank you, Chels. Thank you, Chels, for sending those gift subs. Check your account and see if you got it. Your first month is free, and then after that, it's $2.99. But you will be subbed to me. Thank you, Chell, very much. Angel, it's kind of cool. It says, day eight. You, will, you need to remember that some days will be very intense. Uh, a lot of things will happen that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day at any day that gives you a break is a blessing and you'll need to make sure that you make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about those um, who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always got me through the day. Timmy should eat something. Timmy's in terrible shape. You need to give him water now. Um, Ted looks great, like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Um, Mary's diet could use a little food. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dang. He's dehydrated and hungry. We're running out of water, everybody. Uh, Dolores is hungry, but you can just wait. Mary Jane is hungry, but you can wait. So... He needs food and water because he went outside. Yeah. We did not get anywhere near enough water. 
Oh yeah, no, she's going up to the surface. Um, yeah, I'm trying not to say her name, so I'm saying MJ. Okay, I'll just start saying MJ. Feed Ted. Yeah, I'm gonna feed myself and screw my, well, the wife is on her own. And then first aid kit, okay. All right. I'm Ted, yeah, I'm fighting for my survival. Okay, so um, as long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make may come back to bite you um, even after a few days or week. Consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if it makes, uh, but if it's, if nukes start dropping, it's a totally different story. Day nine. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now, but we're, uh, but be careful. This is a post-apocalyptic scenario and you never know what's coming. Um, MJ's diet could use a little food. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including MJ, if there's any water left. Dolores would really love to eat something. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy has healed up. Okay. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Ted is no longer hungry. I'm Ted. Okay. They're all hungry and thirsty. Except we just don't have much water. I'm going to get, well, I'll give her a little water. I'll give her a little water. And then he gets a little food because he went to the surface. Um... Wait until they are dead and give them water. Okay. Someone's at the door. You can hear several knocks. If you listen carefully, you can make out sequences of three knocks. Um, you can hear uh, three knocks. Do you open the door? No, because they said that it should be two knocks, right? Only two knocks. That's right. So no, we are not opening the door. Day 10. Good call. That wasn't the knock that you were waiting for. Caution at all times. Remember, be cautious, apply yourself, and maybe your family will just be just fine, or at least most of you. MJ's diet could use a little food. MJ is no longer thirsty. Dolores would really love to eat something. She is no longer thirsty. Timmy is no longer hungry. Ted is fine. Um, MJ can, is not getting any food. She, if, as long as she's glaring at me like that, she's not eating. So... We just don't have enough water. As you were counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering out the door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks, two knocks, the pattern keep repeating. Do you open the door? I say yes because... Um, no, I thought she was the... Um, isn't MJ the wife? Yeah, I would think we opened the door. Oh, Dolores is. Oh, man, I need to let my daughter have some water. I was, um, oh, okay. I was, um, I was being mean to the wrong person. Okay. Um, all right, so what do you think? I mean, I think, um, I think it's four knocks, but I don't know, maybe wrong. B drawer, thank you so much for the follow. Um, open the door, yeah. It says there are two knocks, two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. So no, they're like knock, 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 knock. So I'm gonna open the door, yeah. It's a sequence of two. Yep, I'm gonna open the door. Oh, nope, I probably should not have opened the door. 
The end. Good job. You're safe and sound. Oh, it, I did good. It says, good job. You're safe and sound with our brave soldiers. And now we can all save some, have some apple pie. You deserve it. We held out for 11 days. Day one, the atomic drill begins. And I successfully passed the drill. All right. So let's go and see. Georgia, welcome back. But this is just the tutorial, absolutely. I know, but I'm just excited I passed the tutorial. Okay. Survive the atomic drill, okay. See, Dolores, oh, okay, you're right. All right, poor little MJ, I was mean to you for no reason. Okay, so how do we get back? Okay. <laughs> well, I only survived. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this for real. Bye, Shelly. Perfect your post off the look to unlock fancy rewards and the special challenges. Oh, let's just do the full experience. Yeah, I think we can jump right in. I'm all nervous. Okay. I'm going to play as Ted. Um, I'm going to play as a little boy because I, this is my first one. So I'm going to, let's go. Do, do, do. Keep up with the world even after it ends. All right. Why isn't it letting me grab anything? Oh, I guess this is just letting me look for stuff. Okay, it's eating real, people. Oh no, let me go grab. Oh no, I have no water. Oh, and I don't know where my shelter is. my kids behind. Oh no, I don't know where my kids are. <laughs> I forgot my kids. Oh <laughs> well, you know who's going to the surface and it's not me. Oh, I, I didn't even make it. Oh, she's the only one in here. <laughs> Richie Fox, I am. Thank you. I know. I, I, at least I tried, right? Okay. Let's go. We're going to make it down in there. Oh, I don't want to play as her, but all right. 
Um, Maybe I'll do a uh, better job than he did. Maybe I'll just have the snarky attitude. Oh. I got nothing. I have two axes. I have two. Oh no. Come on. I have two axes and a playing card. Oh my gosh, look at how many suitcases I have. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh yeah, no, it was horrible. Hello, cow. <laughs> The only thing she has is pesticide soup and playing cards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to get us at least partly down there. Yes, indeed, Doc Martin's Uncrustables and Robert, and because Brandon's too far away. Brandon's going to have to get in his own, um, he's going to have to find his own supplies. So both kids are here with soup and an axe. Um, gas mask and she's right there. You know, it's amazing how um, fast a minute goes. Oh, I can't pick up anything because I have... Why can't you go? Go, go, go! Oh my goodness. I get in there oh I got in okay well I got the kids Dolores is on her own sorry Dolores I don't think we have very good supplies though oh well I got three cans of soup three things of water gas masks an axe yeah all right, I think we can. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm, I'm okay with this. She was kind of snarky anyway. Janie, thank you so much for my team bracelets. I'm just gonna throw the bullets. Okay, so we're here. The three of us are safe and sound. We just need to make it work from now on. We really wish it was four of us, but we can't remember bringing these supplies down to the shelter, We're not, um, but we're not complaining. Uh, Last Phoenix, thank you for hurting me. We probably should have stocked it a little bit better. Uh, yeah. You know, like a map and a radio and bullets. We don't have that much food. No one's complaining yet. But we, but even canned soup might become an extravagant dish soon. Jen, thank you for my ducks on parade. 
There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. Yes, we will. Time to ration. Nobody gets anything. Nobody gets anything, so we're going to go. There are only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought that, hey, why not just play some games? We're not just, uh, not just for kids, you know. Okay, I'm already starting to look a little rough, but that's okay, because I'm stuck in a bunker with my two kids. <sighs> Everybody, make sure you hydrate, drink some water in real life, since we're not gonna give them any water. Okay. We played I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes. After that, everyone got bored with the letter W. Ted is fine. MJ says she's fine and doesn't need anything. No good. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. So everybody says they're fine. So we're going to keep moving on. Um, it looks like the area is still arid. Um, Aerated, aerated, going to the wasteland right now is unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Um, should we start prepping? No, I think we're okay. Uh, being safe down here is much better than being um, pulverized out there, but that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighbor is probably more peaceful since the bombings. No. Day three. Look at me rationing all my, my supplies. At least I got the gas mask. So when I send um, MJ out, I'll give her a gas mask. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So let's go. Um, hopefully the time to leave will come soon. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Getting something to drink for MJ sounds like the right idea. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Okay, um, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. You know what, dude, we're all thirsty. We just have to sacrifice a little bit. No water for anybody. Um, but that doesn't mean that when they come back, the gas mask would be in good condition, exactly. Nope, 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 nope. It's, it is called tough love. We are in a bomb shelter. You're not going out. We're not going to have any water and we're not having any food because we have to last more than three days. No soup for you. That's right. I, I threw them down there instead of more food and water. So they better appreciate me. This is called, um, uh, 60 seconds. That's an apocalyptic diet. Exactly. Charlie. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Should we start preparing for an expedition tomorrow? Um, it's, a hard, it's hard to keep track of time down here. We can't tell if it's night or if it's day. Sleeping patterns are messed up. These terrible light bulbs are not helping too bad. We can't re uh, replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. No, no, we're, we just have to. <sighs> That's right, I don't have a med kit. Oh, look, I'm making a sock puppet. Okay, bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were, and there is no other problems we need to face soon. Let's just hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Ted is really tired. Ted is has gone crazy. MJ keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. MJ is really tired. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Okay, I'm dehydrated, tired, and crazy. So let's give me some water. She is dehydrated and tired, so let's give her some water. And he is dehydrated. Okay. I think I'm gonna have a little soup because 
Uh, just because I'm the adult and I have to stay alive. So, sorry kids. Sorry kids, my daddy's gonna have some soup, but I'll tell you all about it. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Should we start? No. Sending Timmy outside is a big risk, but he's eager to help. Do you think I should send him outside with the gas mask? I mean... Tomorrow? Okay. However many days I can, I guess. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow? All right. How about a trip to Nevada? We've been postponing um, for a while now. Maybe we should go there. That's our first stop, at, first stop after we get out of here. That's that. That's my uh, pops up my my sock puppet in replace of Dolores. Moving, maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends, meet new people, provide anyone that is still alive, that is. Ted's mental health worries us a little. Oh wait, Ted's mental health worries us, us all, but we don't know how to help him. Ted isn't thirsty anymore, Ted has rested. MJ is still tired, let's give her some time to recover. MJ is no longer thirsty. Timmy is no longer thirsty. Time to ration supplies. I'm crazy. She's tired. So, um, so what do you think? Do you think I should feed Timmy and then send him outside? No. Okay, they're okay for the next day. No soup for you, Timmy. She's tired and I'm just crazy. I wonder if I got, um, but I don't, can Ted go outside? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe if I give Ted one more little thing of soup. Crazy people can't leave, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna give Ted just a little bit more soup. MJ insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she, um, if she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of our house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be like might cheer her up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? I will let you vote on that one. What do you want to do? Do you want to let her out for a quick look? Yeah. Hella no tuba. Um, see, I'm thinking I'm gonna let her out because maybe if I let her out, um, maybe the music will help Ted. I have the gas mask. Well, Ted's already crazy and Timmy's on his own, so. Um, we don't have the flashlight. Okay. <laughs> Ted has left the building. I'm going to go ahead and send her. Let's, you know, I mean, we don't have enough food and water to last that long. We might as well just enjoy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to last that long with just a little bit of food and water we have. MJ got very excited when we agreed to let her look for her, her tuba. She says if she can't find the instrument, she'll settle for anything else she can find, like some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static or even the sweet sound of silence. MJ went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. 
Ted mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Despite the dire circumstances and all the troubles we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Time to ration supplies. Well, I'm gonna stop feeding him just because, I mean, feeding him is not helping his mental capacity, so I'm not gonna feed him anymore. There it goes again, noises, weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes, walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Uh, there showed, that means, yeah. I wish I could give him a game. He looks like he's losing it. Okay, day seven. Oh, she's back, but she didn't bring her tuba. Oh, sorry, MJ. Boredom can really get you in the shelter. It can lead to dark places, trust us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of MJ returning with the shelter room from the surface. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Where is the water when, where is water when Ted needs it? MJ seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Um, some water for Timmy would be nice. Timmy should eat something. Baba, thank you so much for my cheers. I appreciate that. So they're all, she's just tired. He's thirsty and hungry. Well, he's not getting any food right now. I really wish I could help his mental capacity. She's just tired. She didn't break back anything. Yeah. Jen, thank you for hiding me. I appreciate that. I know. Yeah, they're good. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna give him anything right at the moment. Uh, oh, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Ted might be able to survive the exp expedition. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. Should we be preparing for the expedition for tomorrow? So, um, do you think, yeah, you think we should prepare now? Okay. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None of it. Just um, we can just stare in, at the walls. We need to do something about this. Okay. So. They really need a game. Oh, Timmy's not looking very good today. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in the shelter. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. Ted is really tired. MJ seems sleepy all the time. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Timmy is really tired. Okay, so I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a little water and a little soup because he needs to go outside. I'm going to give him a little water and she's just tired. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, none of them can go outside now. Both MJ and Timmy are eyeing one of the remaining soup cans in a very, very disturbing way. Now it looks like they're going to duel over it. If it's using forks they found for the shelter, they may, it may, should we stop them? Yes, I'm going to stop them. So, oh, shit. Yes, I want to stop them. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so let's see how... Every, um, we lasted nine days. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. No one really knows what happened. We all account for... It's that the soup is gone and Timmy didn't get enough tuck. How did they get the soup? Oh, uh, okay. So he needs some water. She's only thirsty. And he's going to get a little soup. No, he doesn't get anything. None of them can go out. Okay. Day 10. Okay. Well, nobody's well enough to go out. Okay. So he's hungry and tired. He's crazy and tired. She's tired and dehydrated. So do you think, would you feed Timmy? Feed Timmy and then, um, well, I was gonna feed him and then send him outside. I have to get somebody well enough to go outside. Yeah. See, I'm thinking about feeding him. I'm going to give her a little water. And he's just crazy and tired. And then do we just... Um, I'm trying to send them outside. Okay, so then should we go outside? How do I say yes? I fed him. How would I say, just click it? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna schedule it for tomorrow. Awesome, thank you everybody. We have a working radio, why not use it? Maybe we'll be able to catch a broadcaster too. Okay, day 11. Good luck, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy doesn't look so good. Let's not even bother with that radio. It's not like we're gonna learn anything useful. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Ted is still nightly tired, mightily tired, mighty tired and needs more time to recover strength. MJ seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy. She is no longer thirsty. MJ's diet, she could use a little food. Timmy is no longer hungry. Timmy has rested. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Timmy's behavior is odd. Jen, thank you for my team bracelet. And Aaron, thank you for hearting me. Yeah, but... Um, he's thirsty and crazy, but I'd really like him to go outside. Okay, enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe something is still left out there. So who should go out? Timmy's going out, dude. We're making tough decisions. Timmy's going out. All right, so now let's figure out. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do. Oh, he didn't take his his gas mask. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Ted is slightly tired and needs more time to recover strength. Water, um, where is water when Ted needs it? MJ's diet could use a little food. MJ is still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Um, crazy, tired, and thirsty. Good night, Ace. Tired and hungry. 
I was, I was going to say, I don't think that either, nobody's getting anything. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and started asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning in on a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Didn't ask me about the gas mask, so when I send her out, I'll give her the gas mask. Angie, I'm glad you're here. They say ignorance is bliss. Try another day without any clue what might um, what is going on might not necessarily kill us. So Ted is still crazy. MJ is hungry. Um, should we give her something to drink? She's tired, hungry, and thirsty. I'm I'm dehydrated and deranged. So I'm going to I'm going to give her a little soup. She hasn't eaten. So let's listen to the radio. So we'll listen to the radio and hopefully that will help. Uh oh. Somebody's calling. Good news the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from the area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We will be out of here soon. What Ted did what Ted did today was really absurd. During dinner, he suddenly jumped out of his seat and started boxing the gas mask hanging it on the wall. He appeared to trade insult as well as blows with an inanimate object. Apparently, he had mistaken the mask for a bloodthirsty stranger intent on stealing our cans. Although we were very impressed, his right hook and the eagerness to defend our family um, violence is really not his style. Also, the mask is completely destroyed. Uh-oh, Ted really showed it who's boss. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover strength. He's not thirsty and MJ could use some food. She seems thirst or sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. She keeps fainting. <gasps> Jen, thank you for my ducks on parade. Await further instructions from the military. Make contact with the wastelanders. Um, I'm afraid to make contact with other people because I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm afraid they're going to take my half a can of soup. Nobody's going outside. Uh oh, I forgot to feed them. Ah! Okay. So let's go ahead. It is way too dangerous to just randomly run to a uh, ringing phone in the middle of the radioactive ghost town. We're not taking any chances. It took a while before the ringing stopped. It was pretty annoying for all of us. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or this bunker will completely drive him insane. Ted is still mighty tired. MJ keeps fading. We really need to find. What are they going to eat today? So he's tired, deranged, and hungry. So she's dehydrated. I'm going to give them both a little bit of soup because now we have one can of soup and one bottle. He's, I don't think, I thought, I don't know. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge and will probably attack us when they get a chance. Yeah, that's a bad news. Oh, I hear knocking. Oh, there's the cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge, and there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel dirty. Dirty. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we can do something, or this bunker will drive him completely insane. 
Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. He's no longer hungry, but he should drink something. MJ has rested. She is no longer hungry, and she's no longer thirsty. He's thirsty and deranged, but not dehydrated. She's fine. Um, we were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive this nuke? Should we open it? I'm saying no, but what do you think? I mean... Um, hold on. Oh, where'd that come from? Okay. Could be DoorDash. I was, that's what I was wondering. I mean, is Timmy just trying to get back in and we're going to leave them out there? Hello, Gavin. I mean, at this point, what do we have to lose? I mean, we have glowing cockroaches. I'm insane. I'd say answer it. Should we open it? Yes. Day 17. Ha! Oh, no, I've got green stuff coming from MJ's nose. A group of travelers wearing gas masks and carrying some serious-looking equipment gave us um, purified water before they could... Before we could thank them, they turned away and left. I got two more bottles of water. Opening that hatch was a bit risky. It seems it gave us some awful sickness. That coughing is driving us crazy. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. MG, MJ caught something nasty. Well, remind me next time. Okay, she's sick. Ah, Jen, thank you for my beautiful galaxy. I appreciate that so much. I love how it like lights up the sky. No, I can't send anybody outside. There's already somebody out there. I'm gonna give him some water. I'm gonna give her some water and maybe a little soup since she's sick. The more you know about what's going on outside, the better for us. Let's gather around the radio and see if we can tune into a station. Hopefully that helped her. Timmy's been gone a very long time. Ah, oh no, that's not helping much. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better, uh, better luck next time. Ted seems to be losing it. Um, MJ is still rather sick. She's sick and he's deranged. The other day we heard a quiet knock at the door, but when we opened it, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't um, signed, but it isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, we're both just like barely hanging on. Um... Anthony, you're like, they're either starving or dehydrated. Yeah, we desperate, yeah. I mean, that's it. what I'm thinking is like at this point, I mean, we're not gonna last with half a can of food and green stuff coming out of MJ's nose and Ted's deranged. All right, let's go in. Ah, fingers crossed. Day 19, let's see what happened. We're back, Timmy's back. Look, and he brought a can of soup. Wow. Gavin, this is called 60 Seconds. It was an innocent looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was all a lie. Either the water was aerated, um, aerated or it was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. 
We were so afraid for Tammy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. The first thing to, the first thing to fall um, in a time of crisis is order. Yet here we were walking next to the police station and it turned out to be still operational and staff. We met with a few policemen inside. They seemed capable of doing their job, though it's pretty odd the way they were talking about a new world order. The policemen were quite nervous while they were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food, then told us to go away and never mention what we saw to anyone. They had plenty of water in their stash. They were acting very nervously and immediately cons um, consented to sharing um, when asked. They were all, uh, then they all started exercising. Suddenly the officers argued over the subject of taking over the world. It was really strange. They yelled about how it can't as how they can't assault the firearm without they can't assault the firemen without proper firepower they even threw a rifle through the window claiming it was useless without ammunition we disagreed and took the rifle with us when they were leaving the last expedition got us thinking maybe we could just drive away from the nightmare somehow or of course most of the automobiles available are completely burnt out but what if we sold a base and scavenged enough parts? Perhaps we could build a vehicle of our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those in the future expedition. Ted seems to be losing it. Um, MJ is still rather sick. We're worried about Timmy's state of mind. He's not doing very well. All right, so let's see here. He's deranged and hungry. She's sick. He's crazy hungry and tired. Well, we have more water and we have more soup, and so, no. We always wanted a pet, but we couldn't decide what to um, get, a cat, a dog, no matter. We have our very own cockroach colony now. Unless we want them to stay and play fetch, we, fetch, we should start doing something to drive them out. Though the fetch option is quite likely they're big as small puppies. I'm not gonna shoot them. Timmy definitely saw some things. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could happen to us. And there's not, um, there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay the rent. Ted is hungry. Ted seems to be losing it. MJ is still rather sick. We should get her something to drink. We're worried about Timmy's state of mind. He's not doing well. He hasn't rested. Um, uh, it says Timmy without water for too long. Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Should we go outside? No. Should we send MJ? I mean, Timmy's gone out. Do you think we should send MJ? You know, I mean, the only thing she's done is sit there and then she went upstairs and it's already 20 days. Um, let's see. He's deranged, hungry and thirsty. She is sick and thirsty. And he's at starvation, so I have to feed him. And I should probably give him a little water just because he went out. She's fine. She's just sick and thirsty. Hello, Kaylin. <laughs> she doesn't have good survival skills, but she's all we have. I agree. Brandy, thank you for my high bear. Okay, so I'll give her some water. Okay, then... Let's go ahead and get her schedule for an expedition. Okay, the boredom and silence are overwhelming. Too bad um, we don't have a TV to keep us occupied, but maybe we can take advantage of some of our supplies and pretend they're props on a movie set. All right, I think we need that for our mental capacity. Even though I don't like, um, I, did, I clicked on the backpack. 
I don't really like them playing with axes, but you know, at this point, look at poor Timmy. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh oh, somebody sneezed. Look at us, day 21. Ted and MJ used to be big cinema buffs before the apocalypse, so they instantly jumped on the idea. MJ always uh, um, compl um, complained singing in the rain lacks action, so they took the axe and improvised an extra scene. Very bloody. They, they insist the movie would have been better that way if they had more axes in it. Ted's stomach is rumbling. He's losing it. Um, he needs a drink. MJ condition isn't any better today, but she's no longer thirsty. Timmy really isn't himself. We're worried about him. He hasn't rested. He's no longer thirsty, but he should still eat something. Okay, we're sending her. Um, should we send the ax with her? Do you think we should send an ax with her, or do you think we should just send her out on our own? I mean, at least she could defend herself. Or a map. Elizabeth, thank you for my rose. And Jade, thank you so much for my heart and my team bracelet. And Elizabeth, thank you for hearting me. <sighs> Brandy, no, we're just trying to survive. I would say the map. And Jade, thank you for my ice cream. We can't do both because... I don't want to send the radio. I'm not sending the gun or the bullets. I'm not sending soup or water. Um, this is called 60 seconds and we're trying to survive a nuclear fallout with just a few supplies I could grab. Yeah, I think I should send her um, Oh, I can? I feel kind of bad. I mean, I feel kind of bad sending her out without anything, but Timmy made it back without anything. But I have the rifle. Okay, I'm gonna send the axe. I'll, I'll send the axe. I can't, I, I didn't know how, I don't know how to mark on the act or the map, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and send that. Bye, MJ. I think a little fresh, you know, like walking around might help her. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Georgie. Okay. MJ went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Ted looks like he just got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. His stomach is rumbling. Timmy is very hungry. He doesn't feel himself. We're worried about him. So he is deranged, hungry. He has di he's dehydrated, so I'll give him a little water. He's hungry, but he's not starving, so. Hello, Ren. Yo, cheesy potatoes, how are you? Hello, Otter. Thank you for hiding me. Thank you, Otter. Um, oh, I'll have to get a med kit next time. Okay, we're not sending an expedition. Just me and the boy down in the basement. Mama, you got 200,000? How did I get 200,000 likes? I thought I was just at 50. That's crazy. Yeah. Cheesy potatoes. Mm. The dog's name is Pancakes. Oh, I would love that. Yeah, I was going to say, um, I, I don't think I have. Okay. Oh, 200 viewers. Yeah, yeah. 204, actually. Okay. 
All right, so day 23. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially for those weird noises coming from it. They are giving us the creeps, even up here. Ted seems to be losing it. Either we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane. He is no longer thirsty. He looks very weak. Timmy should eat something. We're worried about his state of mind. He's starvation. All right, I'll give him just a little bit. And he is crazy, tired, hungry, and thirsty. Sorry, dude. Not yet. Make contact with other wastelands. Use this map to find a location um, given by... So what would you think? I cannot eat the dog. I can do... I can eat a hamster. I don't think I could eat the dog. I say we make 200 light. I agree. Find the location. Okay. All right. It doesn't let me click it for some reason. Okay, so... It says today, at, oh, today an army broadcast interrupted our, let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to, ec to evacuate us away from here, but then went over several things that needed to happen before they do that. First item on the list to us, we were given geographical coordinates and need uh, to get there and leave a sign that we're still alive. This should be easy with a map. Okay. So use the map to find a location to the enemy or the military. Oops, I want to do that. Uh-oh, the phone's ringing. I can't believe we've lasted 24 days. Oh man, look at Timmy's hair. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left a message in a bottle. Ted seems to be losing it. Timmy hasn't recovered from his full mental competence. We wish we could help him. All right, let's see what he's got. He's deranged and hungry. He's starvation and dehydration, so let's give him that. He's just hungry, so that's all he gets. Ring, ring, they were... Um, there we are, thinking we could never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Well, the only person we have is Timmy. So what do you think? Should we get... Um, should we send Timmy? Okay. All right, there he goes. Poor Timmy. Oh, look at he made it back. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope that they get back to us. Tim seems to be losing it. Either we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane. Where is water when Ted needs it? Um, Ted looks very weak. And Timmy isn't really himself. We're very worried about him. Timmy has rested. He's no longer thirsty. And he's no longer hungry. So starvation. Let's just give him a little soup. Hopefully we get more soup. A, a sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we could get the bag and all its contents. We can't see what's inside. The trader gives us an angry glance every time. We take a step towards the mysterious bag. Should we make a deal? Well, I don't have a can of soup left, so. Okay, so we are moving on. I know I fed the kid. I feel bad for him. I've sent him out like 12 times. Oh, scallions, how yummy. 
Yeah, I feel bad for him. I mean, truthfully, I mean, look at the kid. I haven't moved and I still have a sock on my hand. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight unseen and we're not about to start now. Gone are the times of yard sales. We can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. Ted seems to be losing it either by either we do something or this bunker will drive him completely insane. Ted looks like he just got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Ted is hungry. Tim is very hungry. Timmy is not recovered. And so let's see how bad they are. He has dehydration. So I'm going to give him a little water. He's hungry and fatigued, but he gets nothing. Okay, it seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it before we get completely overrun. Well, I guess we're shooting the cockroaches, y'all. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it gave us something to do. We have defeated the, in the cockroaches and driven them away. Their nest is ours. That should teach them a lesson. Ted's stomach is rumbling. He's losing his mind. Timmy is very hungry. So let's see here. He's deranged and hungry. He's crazy hungry, fatigued, and thirsty. Not enough. Timmy is bored out of his mind, and he won't leave Ted alone. First, he wanted to play tag. Now it's hide and seek, which are both terrible ideas for a small shelter like this. Ted is in a bad mood and just wants to be left alone, but Timmy isn't giving in. How about charades? I mean, we can play charades with the kid. I mean, it would probably waste it, but, um, you know, at this point, at least it gave him something to do. So I'm going to say we play charades. Hello, Kara. You know, what do we have? What do we have to lose? I have like three quarters of a can of soup and that's about it. That really wasn't the best matchup. One moment, Ted and Tim were calmly writing down riddles. The next, they were screaming at each other, accusing each other of cheating. How do you even cheat at that game? Ted is hungry. He's losing his mind. Timmy could eat something. He still has not recovered. So he is deranged, hungry, and fatigued. He's not getting anything. Crazy hungry. For, he has dehydration, so let's give him a little water. And then... Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud, incessant snoring. Ted angrily retaliated by making quips about the size of Timmy's ears, which ang enraged Timmy even more. He's desperate for a solution. What can be done about this? Nothing, because we have nothing to help. Jade, thank you for all of my TikToks and hobby core. Thank you for hearting me. I appreciate you. Uh-oh, I heard the knocking. Timmy was even more miserable this morning after another sleepless night due to Ted snoring. The bags, um, the bags under his eyes speak for themselves. Ted is unwilling to commit and still won't even admit he snores. Mary Jane was supposed to be back a few days ago. It's been too long. We fear something has happened to her. Ted is hungry. Okay, I don't think MJ is coming back. Um, deranged, hungry, fatigued, and thirsty. You do not get anything. Crazy, hungry, fatigued, and tired. You get nothing. We are not sending anything anywhere because we're losing people. We had a, a chance to meet the strangest person today. He looked like a human except with triple the amount of hands necessary. We listened to a story about a group of people just like him who were having a hard time scavenging supplies because of their appearance. People shoot first and ask questions later. He offered us a deal. If we share some of our supplies with them, they will help us on our next expedition and make sure we're safe. I'm saying no. No, I'm going to say no. Because you know what? It's, I, don't have any, I don't have anything to give them and we're not healthy enough to go on an expedition. So I'm going to say no. Hello, Alyssa. Oh no! I think I I think I kicked the bucket. 
No matter how many spare hands these people have and how friendly they are, we simply cannot spare the supplies. We need to take care of our own. The man was disappointed, but he understood. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy still hasn't recovered his full mental capacity. We wish we could help him somehow. Timmy still hasn't rested. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seemed that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went to an unknown direction, never, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and his cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task. We can tell you that much. We spent 30 days in the shelter. Dolores didn't make it. Um, Dolores didn't make it. Sleepless in Adamville. Ted has gone crazy. That's how we did. I think we did pretty good our first try. We lasted 30 days our first try, though. You know? Yeah, Haley, this was a lot of fun. You know what? And this is something that we can apps. Hello, Scully. This is something that we can like pop in and play whenever we want because each time we do it is a brand new adventure. So I absolutely, I think we did really good. I think we did excellent. Now I am going to be playing, um, Janie, thank you so much for the rose. I think, uh, Lonnie, look up. 60 uh 60 parasects Janie thank you for my good game yeah and there are so many endings I love it and um I a good warm-up game exactly 30 30 days was a lot yeah I think we did really good our first one yeah I you know what I make all the difficult calls all the time so what I was thinking about doing um Oh, it's a space version of the game. How fun. Yeah, I'll definitely look that up. Okay, so I was thinking about a quick round of granny, and then we would go play in Simple Mind, of Sound Mind. What do you think of that? Making the hard. Um, uh, yeah. They also have small challenges to win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because usually, because um, it's only seven. Yeah, let's play a round of granny. And then amnesia. We're doing Soma on Saturday. Daily reminder, take your meds, drink your water, and love yourself. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate that. Yes, I do. Hello, David. How are you? Yeah, I, um, I spent this afternoon... Um, what is Soma? Soma is like an underwater version of amnesia. So it is a really, really good game. All right, let's do a round of granny, then we're going to go play in Sound Mind. Mm -mm -mm. Jamie, take your meds today. All right, let's play a round, and then we're going to go play some sound mine. In fact, I got to do this. Grand, grand. Yes, let's see what I can do. Let's go to granny. All right. And let's continue. And go get comfortable. No, I have not played Lethal Company. I bought it and I will be playing that. The teddy bear in the house is, um, I'll show you the teddy bear. I'll show you the teddy bear. Hello, Danny baby. All right, and let's go check. Let's go check. And let's go check. There she is. Is 
See if it's going to get me. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Just making all sorts of racket, but that's okay. Because let's see what I can do. All right, let's see, let's see. This always scares me because this is the slowest thing coming up the well. Have you gotten out of the pipe in the spider area yet? No, Chloe, I don't like that one. Um, is this Nightmare Moto Granny? No, I play on easy. I'm a big easy chicken. I am getting to the point where I'm going to up the difficulty here soon, and I'll be playing on regular. I haven't, oh my God, this is the granny game. I haven't seen you play this live yet. So excited. Yes, Alyssa. Chloe, is that, you know what? I have never gotten out that way. And last night, um, I actually learned how to use the little blow dart thingy, the little, um, that little dart thing that I get to access the room down below. I've never been able to do that before. So if I get that, I'll show you how to do that. Ah, spider key. Ah, that's the scariest one there is. Mama Lani, what's the most likes you've gotten in a day? Janie, I got over 300,000 one time. I think it was like 320,000. And one of the reasons, truthfully, one of the reasons I like to play Granny so much is because this is the, a game that I can absolutely play and be able to talk to my chat at the same time. And it's, to me, it's really super important to be able to do that because it's one of the things that I like to do. I like to talk to my chat. Um, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, on Saturday, I will stream longer and we will try to get me up higher than 300,000. And if you want to make a, a, if you want to make it a challenge, I will gladly stream longer so we can beat that. It's called team effort. Team effort. Okay, there, oop, there she is. I see her. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. Um, um, okay. Okay. Oh, oh. I know this is a lot of question, but can you, someone tell me what, uh, hold on. Um, can, can someone tell me what a uh, Republic TRS advances? Oh, I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Saturday goal is 300, uh, a 330,000. Yes. Uh, Oh, really? Last Phoenix Falling, thank you for sharing my live. Can you open the bookshelf? Um, I think it's like a portion of income tax, but I'm not sure. I have no idea. Oh, cool. If you could, Tara, that would be awesome. That would definitely be awesome. Now, I am going to start staying away a little bit more from like super, I, I see, because I don't consider this game scary. I'm sorry. I just don't. I think it's a funny game. I mean, oh, shoot. I think it's a good game. It's a, it's a fun puzzle game, but I personally don't, oh, shoot, she's right there. I don't think that this is a horror game, and I want to try to start staying away from like really super dark games um i just don't think they're good for um all of our mental health now this is not scary at all it's fun so i am going to make a 
I am going to make a concerted effort to stay away from those really super dark games. Um, I got to work Saturday, but I'm totally sneaking in AirPods so I can listen to the stream. Awesome, Andy. And there's the teddy bear right there. If you, um, we need a good balance. Exactly. And I think like tonight I've really been trying, like I had phasmophobia and then we switched over to 60 seconds so we could have kind of like a little bit, even though we were like dealing with an atomic fallout, um, you know, it wasn't like really dark. Um, and then, you know, from here we'll play in sound, um, of sound, in sound mind, which is a really good puzzle game, but it's not, um, it's not super scary. So I am trying to have a really good balance. You are correct. Uh, what's phasmophobia about? And it's where I actually use like ghost hunting tools and I go ghost hunting. And it's one of my favorite games right now. I think it's a really good game. And again, what I really like are games that I can, um, I can play Phasmophobia and you can jump on any time and it's not like you missed a huge part of this, the game because every time I either figure out the ghost or I get by the ghost, it starts over. So you can start, um, it just doesn't feel like you've missed much. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? Uh, when you play Undertale, don't let anyone spoil the endings or sway you on. Oh yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. If anybody try, if anybody ever tries to do spoiler alerts, I'll just mute them. I mean, that's not cool. I don't think spoiler alerts are. I don't think spoiler alerts are anywhere remotely near okay. And so I would instantly um, they would be muted. Um. Oh, thank you, Tara. I appreciate that. <laughs> Spoilers, yeah. You know what? Because the thing is, is that not only does it, um, uh, not only does it, it doesn't just ruin my experience, but it ruins is it ruins all of yours too. So yeah, that's like a zero tolerance kind of violation. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right this minute. How long have you been bald? Ha! Did you think you had to say that twice? Angel, if you're on, can you mute him? Ugh. Yeah, I just blocked him. I know, I told you to mute him, and then I thought twice about it, and I just blocked him. Yeah, and you know what, and that's just the thing. It, it's like, okay, I really don't understand how somebody could look at me or anybody and be like, my one sentence is going to totally ruin their day. And I'm like, Dude, you have to have so much, it is like so far from even remotely hitting the mark that it just amazes me. But that's the thing, everybody. It's like, okay, being in social media, I'm going to tell you right now, you go into social media one of two ways. If you go into social media and you let every single crappy comment get to you, it's going to chew you up and spit you out in record time. I'm going to tell you that right now. Social media is not for the faint of heart, period. But it also, too, it's my choice whether or not I'm going to let these people's, you know, little shitty comments get to me, and I'm just not going to let them get to me. Yeah. People like that being rude on social media, thinking it's funny, like to say, I'm joking. Yeah. You know what? And the thing is, it doesn't say anything about me. It says everything about them. And I will tell you right now, I will tell you exactly who that person is. That's that one kid at school who cannot get attention. And his parents, and, and sadly, his parents probably don't pay much attention to him. And instead of him being like, I'm just going to be a good person, that's the only way he can get attention. And it breaks my heart. I mean, that doesn't mean that I'm going to sit there and let him be rude to me. 
but that's exactly who that is. Uh, thank you, Amy. Yeah. Oh, he did? I didn't even get a chance to look at him. Yes, and that's the thing. It's just like at the end of the day, I am nobody, nobody ever, ever um, is rude to me because I will tell you right now, um, I will stand up for myself faster than anything. Um, um, I will stand up for myself faster than anybody, but I also, too, I'm not going to pick on somebody who I think is already... Um, sad you know and that's what that kid was that kid's nothing more than sad and so I would never I would never purposely be mean to that person because I think they already are sad enough that's just the way I look at it and that's just the way I look at it and oh shit I got I got spider grandma over there being all gross I'm stuck in here so anyway that's the only, re you know, and, and that's just the whole thing. It's, it's like me living my life that I have lived. Um, I have faced bigger and badder. And so to me, it's like, yeah, whatever. What's the objective of this game? Okay, uh, it's like I am um, basically stuck in a 80s horror movie. And I am trying to escape this crazy lady's house. I have five days to try to get out. And so, um, and it is something that I, I have to like figure out puzzles and stuff like that and get out of the house. Yeah, Lucky Tay, and that's just the way I look at it. And that's exactly it. And um, like I said, I've been in social media and I'm older than a lot of social media influencers. I'm a lot younger than a lot of social media influencers. But yeah, gotta just go into it with, I'm, the, I'm not gonna let anybody ever steal my joy from me. Oh, is it based off of a true story? Ooh. Lee, this is called Granny. This is the original Granny. That's kind of terrifying to think that this was originally a true story. Um, why would I not be playing granny? You have, yeah, no joy stealing here. Yeah. <gasps> yep. And that's just the beautiful thing about, I see now I've heard different things. I've heard it is, I've heard it's not. I mean, either way, I could not imagine somebody like actually having to do this but I don't know man um okay so it's they're just trying to keep me captive and apparently they only have so much patience because after the fifth day they just if I don't make it out after the fifth day they they <coughs> me hello stormy hello Happy Black, yeah, happy Friday and happy Black History Month, everybody. But again, I think things like that should be every single day. I don't, um, I think, I just, I just think every day should be celebrated, but that's just my, um, that's just kind of like the way I like to live life. But, you know, maybe I live life in a, a bubble, but I always just try to, I try to incorporate those things every day of my life. Yeah, why is it just one day? Why is it just one month? You know, why why is it just like, hey, we're going to acknowledge um, your existence for one month a year? Why can't we just do this like every single day? You know, why why is this, why? And that's just, I don't know. Some things, like I said, some things I don't understand, and nobody asks me my opinion. Oh, there's the weapon key. All right, I need this because we are going to go visit the weapon locker. But I would never want to, you know, but I would never want to take anybody's, um, you know, I never want to be a Debbie Downer. So that's what I'm saying. 
That's what I feel the same way about Valentine's Day. I feel like it should be celebrated every day. Absolutely. You know, and I don't know you all. I mean, I just try to live my life every single day the way that I want to be able to go to bed at night and be like, yep, I was authentic. I lived my life the way I wanted to and be okay with that. Okay, where are you at, you hag? Okay. So where's my bullet? Where's my bullet? Where's my bullet? Oh, no. Did she move my bullet? Oh, wait. There it is. Okay, so we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. Okay. And then we're going to take this. And we're going to run, 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 run down here. Yeah, I remember that one. I remember when I shot Granny and she did not stay down. Oh, shoot. I got that, too. I got lots of things I can do. I got lots of things I can do. Ah, shit. I don't think I'm going to do that again. I don't think I want to do that again, everybody. I got it last night, but I don't want to waste all my bullets there. Oh, so much to do. <gasps> that was scary when that ghost held me in there so long. It's way easier with the shotgun. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'll try it one time, but I'm not going to sit there and waste every bullet going trying to get that. But yeah, no, uh, that was freaky. All right, all right, all right. Would not leave me alone. Exactly. Noella, thank you for my crown. I appreciate that. Janie, thank you for my roses. And Noella, thank you for my rosa. I appreciate you very much. Okay, so there's the car key. All right, we have so, ooh, so much to do. Hi, Will, how are you? Lots of beans here are empaths, and I love it. Um, yeah, we are a very, a very warm-hearted bunch here, I'll tell you that much. Um, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? What was I going to do? Don't know where she's at. Riley, that's awesome. You know what? Because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to provide a, a safe space where everybody can just relax and just kind of hunker down and be okay for seven hours a day. Okay, cheesy potatoes. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, Celia. How are you, my beautiful friend? Let's see. August 5th, I am a Leo, and I will be 60 years old. And I think that's pretty damn cool. I will be the big 6-0. And I am a Leo through and through. All right, let's see. Any plans for my birthday? Hmm. I'll probably do like a celebration stream. I would imagine I'm spending my, my 60th birthday with y'all. Truthfully, I, I couldn't imagine um, I couldn't imagine going anywhere else. 
Where did she go? Where did that sneaky hag go? That's my new word now is hag. Ever since we played that game and it had a, a bed hag. Um, oh yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna ring in my birthday and I will probably be on quite a while for my birthday. Because I mean, why not? Why wouldn't I celebrate it with y'all? I don't even know what day is August 5th this year. Does anybody know what day that's gonna land on? Is it a weekend? A weekday? Can somebody look that up for me and let me know so I can start pre-planning my 60th birthday bash with you all? Bird feed, okay. It's a Monday? Oh, sounds like a good day to turn 60. I'll take it. Yay! All right, well, then we'll have to go Sunday. I'll, I'll go Sunday. Um, I'll stream Sunday night into Monday. So then that way I'll be here and we'll celebrate my birthday together. And then I'll jump back on Monday. You were born on a Monday. Very cool. Meg, thank you for sharing my live. Crazy Llama Cat, thank you for my roses. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, thank you, puppy lover. Yeah, and we'll have like, I don't know, I'll get a cake or something. Mine is August, uh, the 4th of August. Well, DJ... I'll be celebrating your birthday the day before, and then we'll celebrate mine. Robert's is actually the second. You were born on the day that Katrina hit, really? Yeah. Oh, yours is the 31st. Well, happy birthday, Brandy. Let's take a can. No, I don't. I want more than that. I want like a, I, I'm going to get myself, because here's what I do. For my birthday, I always go to Costco and I get a Costco cake and then I end up eating all of it. Not at once, but I eat, end up eating all of it. So I'll go to Costco and I'll get us a big cake and then um, I, we will eat it from there. <gasps> Ashley May, yours is February 4th. You know what? That was, hold on everybody. Today was my dad's birthday. My dad passed away a while ago, but today was my dad's birthday. And then um, the fourth was my grandma's birthday. So, and it's weird. It's like, you know, I was thinking about that today and I knew my dad's birthday was either today or tomorrow or something. And I was like, Lonnie, aren't you upset? Because you know, you don't remember exactly what day is your dad's birthday. and since my dad's no longer with me it it doesn't really seem necessary for me to celebrate his birthday but i just kind of i celebrate him every single day that i think about him so i don't know if that makes any sense but it's the way i it's the way i do it it's the way i cope with things Oh, yours is February 5th. Okay, when, whenever it's your birthdays, everybody, you have to let me know when you come on the stream that it's your birthday so I can sing happy birthday to you all. I've got quite a collection here. I think that about, uh, do that for your brother. Yeah, Mel, it's to me, that's just, I don't know. I mean, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to torture myself any extra on one day because it's, you know, like his birthday, because I miss him every single day. So, <gasps> Miss Paige, thank you for my crane. Those are always so pretty. So, I just choose to, I just choose to do it that way. I'm thinking about where I want to go. That makes sense to do it like that. I tend to remember the days together more than the birthday. Jeremy, absolutely. And it just, to me, I think it's a defense mechanism also because I don't want to feel extra sad on one day a year thinking about them not being here. So I just kind of try to keep every single day kind of like that celebration day. <gasps> Ooh, okay, everybody, I got, remember number one, all right? Remember the number one. We got lots to do. We got lots to lots and lots to do. Stick my little head up here because what I need to do is actually I need lots of things. Um, I put flowers on my uncle's and grandfather's graves on their birthday. That's really cool, Holly. You know, and here's a, another thing is I do not go visit my the gravesites of my parents or my sister um, 
And I think it's because I have their memorial on my arm, you know? Oh, shit. To me, that's their, um, I, I go to remember them when every time I look at my arm. And, you know, maybe that's, some people would understand it and maybe some people wouldn't. But for me, that's my coping mechanism and I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I went to go see my dad's gravesite one time and I swear to you, he yelled at me like from beyond the grave. I was so traumatized after that. He, I felt like he was so angry at me. Um, I, I never did that again. I'm just like, nope, I'm not gonna do that again. Go, 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 speed racer, go. There she is. Ah, splat. 100,000, that's awesome. Thank you, everybody. Your little tippy taps were going, going to cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm gonna need this up here again. And I'm gonna sit right here and wait for her to walk by. Um. Your thumb is tired. Sorry, Janie. You're doing a great job, though. Doing a great job. Miss Page, thank you for my high bears again and my paper crane. How many siblings do I have? Zero. It was just me and my sister. I don't have any. I, I would be, I am a... I would consider myself an orphan. <laughs> I laugh, but it's the truth. Um, it was just me and my sister. So um, when she passed away, I no longer have any siblings. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. I agreed it was a bad and the horrible for to my mental health. Okay. It's all right. You know what? Um, we can make an orphan club. I love it. And it's just, I have two ways of looking at it. I only have two ways. One, I can absolutely be miserable and sad every single day. Or I could say, you know what? I'm going to do everything possible to live the most amazing freaking fracking life ever for both of us. And that's the one I choose to do. So when I get tired and I don't want to do social media anymore or I don't want to post something, I just remember I'm doing it for both of us. And you know what? It makes everything a whole lot easier to get motivated. Yep. So to me, I every time, that, that's just like the whole thing, like that one person who was like trying to make me feel bad about my hair. I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing it for me, my sister, for everybody. You know, I'm doing it for my mom, my dad, everybody. Oh, shit. She was right there. Did you see her? I'm going to have to shoot her now. <laughs> I shot her knee. Look. That's what she gets for scaring me. Yeah, that one, I almost did not, I almost didn't have the fast enough reflexes for that one. Okay, so we have all sorts of car parts. So let's go ahead and put this in the car really quick. And let's put this here. Okay, so now, Okay, so we were, gosh darn it, we're out. All right, everybody, I've been talking way too much, but where did I see the other part of that shotgun? I know I just uncovered it, but where did I see the other part of that shotgun? <sighs> yeah, she is a bed hag. How can you not be scared? I am so concentrating on beating her in the door. 
Gabriel, thank you so much for the follow. Where the bird is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's right, because I picked up the hammer instead. Got it, thank you. Yep, I'm going for the... Um, I'm going for the piece of the shotgun and I don't want to have anything in my hand because I won't be able to pick it back up. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. Right there. All right, let's go put this shotgun together. Let's go put this shotgun together. Okay. When I play granny, I can't even get past the first room. Riley, it just takes time and practice. And truthfully, I play on easy, which I know after here soon, I'm going to have to move up to um, regular. But it really just comes down to just, um, just practice and knowing where she is and stuff. But you can do it. You, you can get it. I don't, I don't like granny. I want to be something cute for Halloween. I don't want to be old, mean granny. And down we go. Mm -mm. So if you shoot her, is she going to come back or is she... Nope, and she comes back in just a couple of minutes. It only puts them out for a couple of minutes. Only for a couple of minutes which I was kind of bummed when I first found that out because I was like, sweet, you know, I don't have to deal with her anymore, but nope, that's not the way it is. That is just not the way it is. So now this one is much easier with the shotgun. All right, let's see what we got. not super great but it's not super bad but it's definitely going to bring her down here i think i've lost my voice spent the last half hour singing lullabies ah but what a cool way to lose your voice can granny hear noises um around the house um on the easy mode she cannot hear the creaking of the floorboards once it gets to the harder modes yes she can she can hear it going <coughs> she can hear me walking is there an addict? Yes, there is an addict, and that's where I'm going with the gun. And it's there's two spider spots in this game. Um, there's downstairs in Spider Town where um, there's a big giant spider that chases me and tries to eat me. And then there's one upstairs in the attic that I'm actually terrified of because it looks most realistic. It looks like a real black widow, and that scares me but we're gonna go take care of that one. That one granny that was in the closet, it, um, I have heard is actually her sister that she turned into a spider, which, you know, you gotta really wonder, like how pissed was she at her sister to be like, hey, what do you wanna do today? Do you wanna be a spider? And her sister was like, sure, that sounds great. I don't really think that that's the conversation that they had, but that's kind of the, that's kind of the, the story I have in my head. Okay, until I get bullets in this gun, it is not going to do me any good. Okay, so let's go find her so I can pew pew her. And then, I know that's going to get me. You got Uncrustables, yay! Okay, and this is the spider that scares me the most. I will show you. I'm already getting, like, willies. It's that one in there. But you just throw that and then you come over here and that's a rusty padlock key that's for downstairs I don't really care about that one because that's not the way that I go so 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to need that. So that's going to bring her up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for her. <laughs> Sounds like she had a stable family. I, I don't know, man. She makes, I think she makes every dysfunctional family look functional. Where'd she go? Where did she go? All right. Well, we're going to go up here really quick. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to go. <gasps> no, shoot. I knew I was going to fall. Party foul. Exactly. Party foul. Darn it. <sighs> okay. Janie says, I have to go to bed. I've been watching for three hours. Good night, everyone. Good night, Janie. Thank you, and have a great day tomorrow. And dress warm, be safe, all that good stuff. Uh-oh. Did I lose? Uh. So what I did when I fell is I actually, that thing that I was taking across the little bridge, I lost that. And here she is. So let's go here. Let's go ahead and reload. We're going to put that there. Then I need to go downstairs, find that thing that fell, which is there. Go back upstairs. Oh, you got me this time. I forgot that was there. Yes, and I love those. Those are so yummy. Those, so what I did, okay, I got this. I have not made it yet, but I got it was, um, I don't know. It's like this little thing that you can make in a cup, but it's like a brownie in a cup with chocolate frosting. And I was like, why did I buy this? I'm just going to eat it, and it's going to be so good and so not healthy for me, but that's what I bought. I just haven't made it yet. Okay, everybody, so I'm going down to Spider Town and I'm gonna give my content warning that if you are scared of ginormous spiders or very small spaces, you might want to look the other way for a little bit. Hello, cheese. Okay. Oh, I know they look so good. They were just like this little, like a little brownie cup. And I'm like, ah. Kylie, thank you for sharing my live. Do they taste like chocolate, the hazelnut crustables? Hmm. They taste enough like chocolate to give myself a chocolate fix. I mean, I don't think that they're like, oh my gosh, I'm eating chocolate, but it's definitely chocolate-like. Okay, there's that. Won't you take me to Spider Town? I love it. So one time I was sitting right here and I'm like, oh, look, here's granny. And she like reached up and got me. And I was so mad at myself for getting caught like that. I really like that one. Miss Paige, thank you for my roses. I appre ooh, ooh, appreciate you. And that would be the granny spider. We haven't named her. We should name the Granny Spider because we, we name everything else. We should name her. 
Because Granny's the the hag now, the bed hag. Spider Mima, that's a good one. Have you heard of the trick on Phasma where you can throw all the equipment through the front door? No. Claire, thank you for my rose. I appreciate that. Yep. Didn't even look. I just knew she was coming. <gasps> Playhouse key. Okay. Gertrude? Yeah. Couldn't sleep, Ace? Ethel's a good one, too. Trinity, thank you for sharing my lives. Oh, really? Yeah, we won't look at her. Oh, a gritter? I like that one, too. She is mad. Yes, she is. I was thinking Dolores for some reason. <gasps> Yay, Elizabeth. You, you like Dolores also? <laughs> See, the problem is, that's the problem. I didn't see where she went. What the cranky wife and yes, Dolores. She did have quite the smug look, didn't she? Ooh, Widow's a good one too. Okay, let's see what we got up here. I don't need that. I already got the stuff for the spider. So in case you're wondering, that meat right there, you can actually feed that to that black, oh shit, to that black widow spider. Oh, no, come on, come on. You can feed it to that black widow spider instead of shooting that door shut. Ugh. May we see Dolores? Well, she's the one that's been chasing me. Oh, look at Granny came down there. She was just right there. Problem is, if I see her, she sees me, and that doesn't usually turn out very well for me. Okay, so this will have everything I need for the playhouse. Shit. Okay. You know what, Scully? She does kind of look more like a tick than a spider. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, you will see her if she's um, if she's unaliving me which I really don't want that to happen. So um, not at the moment. 
So what we're going to do is I should have everything I need now for the playhouse. So let's see if I can't get whatever's in the playhouse out of the playhouse. Yes, I have. Okay, so I am stuck. I got unstuck on in, uh, in sound mind today. So I was really proud of myself about that. Um, I have to get unstuck at Five Nights at Freddy um, security breach. So I want to get unstuck there. And then I got Five Nights at Freddy 4 that we'll have to play. And then I got Pal World. Pal World? I got that. I started that today. Robert's teaching me how to play that. Sweet G, I do try. I do try. So I'm playing that on Saturday. Um, Saturday morning, I'm playing that one. Yeah, Nessie, I got that one. And I'm actually going to be playing Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going live, and I'll be playing that then. So that's my little, that's my thing that I'm doing there. Oh, ruins is what comes after security. Okay. Well, I'm determined to get past that place that I'm stuck. I mean, like I said, I've been stuck for a while, but I'll get past there sooner or later. Cool. Thank you, Amy. We need a bean server. I'll have to work on that. I know Robert has a server for Minecraft. So I will definitely work on something like that as soon as I can. I have to get my shop all done so I can launch my shop on Monday too. That's okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, the Saturday morning one, that's just, um, that's just a little um, thing that I'm doing. That's a little side, that's a side hustle. So I will definitely still be doing the Saturday evening one. I Actually, I'll be on at 3 on Saturday. And I'm doing Soma on Saturday. I'm very excited to see how that one is. I've heard really good things about that one. So Saturday is Soma Saturdays. <laughs> I only have 200 blankets too, but yes. I will definitely have everything out. We will have our comfort blankets. Um, th Pacific Standard Time, yes. So I'm in California. So that would be six on the East Coast, three in California. And then wherever you are in between, you would figure it out that way. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to go in there, and we're going to do this. And we're going to do that, and we're going to do this. And we're going to do that. And we got a spark plug. So for the spark plug, we're going to come back this way. All right. <laughs> yeah, I shipped my car to Alaska. 95% was for space bag bags. Blankets, yeah, well, you probably really need them there. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I, I really am excited for our bean merchandise. And then sooner or later, I'm going to move over my Rosie the Riveter over there too. So we'll have, we'll have bean stuff and I'll have my Rosie the Riveter over there. Now we did this here. So let's go. Oh, shoot. I need the top part of that. Okay, 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 okay. So what we're going to have to do then, little, my little beans here, is we're going to have to go back down. Okay, crazy llama. <sighs> it's only minus 28 tonight. Holy guacamole. Okay, so let's get ready and let's get back down. Let's 
see if we can't get down there, get down there, get down there. Okay. Oh my goodness, can you sh be quiet already? Quinn, yes, 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 yes. All right, so I'm super excited um, to be able to start again on In Sound Mind. We left off, um, we left off at, Oh, Elizabeth, thank you for my email. That was such a cute little email computer. I appreciate that, thank you. It like lit up my whole screen. I appreciate you. You know what, I, I totally, um, I totally like that idea, but I am super stressed out over this whole merchandise thing. I just wanna make sure that I, I do it in a way that we all like. So my anxiety is a little high on it, otherwise I would. My, I, my, I'm a little anxiety about it. Car part was behind you. Yep. I still need the. Um, I still need the key. Um, I still need the padlock key to open up the garage. If there's a blanket, I'm definitely getting it. Yes, I'm super excited for the coffee mug because our, our little coffee bean emote is going to be making um, her entrance on, she's going to be on our um, coffee mug. Did you like that? I just ran right by her. Shelby, thank you for my team bracelet. I appreciate you. Yeah, and once the store is launched, everybody, if you have any ideas about like other merchandise, because I want to do a water bottle for our hydration station. I'm going to do stickers. Ugh, I don't really want that stick. Actually, you know what? We might just... Okay. Or no, I'm going to launch it um, live before I, I, I will, it will be launched um, Monday afternoon before I go live. Good night, Anne. Okay, hold on, everybody. I've never gotten out through here, but you know, there's always a first for everything. Oh, why does this give me so much anxiety? She's much smaller in person. Hello, Hannah. Chelsea, work this week has been stressful and weird. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, yay, Scully. All right, everybody, if you have not done that, if you want to go to my, um, my link tree at the end of this um, live and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, that because I record all of these, I record every single live, and then I put them on... Um, I put them on YouTube. So if you ever miss anything, you can see it down there. Thank you, Chelsea. Yeah, thank you. Becky, thank you for the follow. Am I comfy in my chair? I'm looking for a new one. You know, I actually, my desk is a standing desk, so I'm sitting on a, a bar stool. It's kind of like a, a bar stool with a back, 
that has a cushion on it. Um, it's, I mean, I sat here for almost eight hours. And don't forget to join the Discord. I don't really have like a set color scheme. It's more of just, um, because every bean is different. So I don't have, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is fine. So I haven't come up with a color scheme yet. I prefer, I mean, most of my, most of my merchandise is gonna be black just because I, um, that's what I like, but there'll be like multiple colors that you can choose from. Ah, Richie Fox, you make my you make my night every night. Thank you so much. Um, no, but I'm actually Hannah. I'm trying to think if I can. I actually can get out of. I can get out the spider way if I can remember where I put the key. Okay, that's the padlock key. There, there's a different, a couple of different options that I have to get out right now. Thank you, Bray, for the follow. I appreciate that. Wow, we have 41 new followers. We have 205 people on the chat right now. We've been seen 9,987 times. I've been streaming for four hours and 21 minutes. I like it. <clears throat> and we're on, please don't be there. Oh, it scares me every time I come around that corner. So let's see, let's see, let's see. <gasps> she, she got me, she got me. Nope, I think I outran her. Did you see me panic? <sighs> All right, I think I can get out. I was going to try to go out through the spider way, but if I can get out through this way, I'm going. Yeah, I left that key upstairs, and also too, I would need, um, I would need the wire cutters too, and I'm not really 100% sure. Yes, I know. Yep. The granny in the bookshelf is Granny's mother. Really. Somebody told me it was her sister, but that makes it much more creepy being her mom. I don't know why it makes it more creepy, but it does. You left the cutters in the attic? Okay. I already released her, and... I already released her, and then she turned into the spider that's downstairs. Why can't I open the door yet? What am I missing on the front door? Am I missing the hammer? I thought I cut that. Well, shit, howdy. Now, where? All right. Well, things just got complicated. Let's go look. I'm thinking maybe I didn't unhammer the both pieces of wood. Is 
That's cut, that's cut. I think I need the hammer. Oh, shit. She got me, everybody. Maybe in the garage, yep. Yep, I think you're right. It's the one in the garage. Hello, Grid, how are you? I, I'm the one that ran into the corner. Now I have to remember where I put the... I think I know where I have some bolt cutters. A favorite perfume? You know what, truthfully, I love Happy by... I, all of my perfumes are kind of like probably dated, but I really like Happy from Clinique. And I love Calvin Klein's Obsession. 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 Yep, you're right. It's this one. Okay, so now I know, I think I threw my key up there, right? Oh, you do? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I, I think I'd ha I like that really kind of like rich kind of like earthy musky tone smell. I love that. In the main room, okay. Oh, okay. La Labo. Oh, cool. Ooh, I like a citrus scent. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to be so famous that I am going to market... Um, I'm going to do my own perfume, and it's going to smell like an Uncrustable. Vanilla. Oh, I do like that. Um, can you imagine my can you imagine my commercial uh, commercial? I'll be like, Uncrustable. It's for the gamers. And then I would eat the Uncrustable. <laughs> I would buy that. Oh, you did cheese. That's awesome. Jam and jelly, exactly. I love that. All right, I'm going to run go use the restroom again. I'm going to grab myself a little snack. I'm not too sure what I'm going to have. And then we're going to do some in sound mind. Yep. Smells like peanut butter and jelly and hydration. Awesome. Okay, go take a shower. I'll be here for a while. Um, let me go use the restroom and I will be right back, everybody.
Let's do this, everybody. That's right, Elizabeth. You you tell them. Miss Page, thank you for my rose. And Taylor, thank you for my my hearting me. I do have a P.O. box and it's in my link tree. We are playing in sound mind. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Matt, I'm doing well. How about you? I got some little cookies and I'm in. I'm feeling good. I would like that, DJ. Thank you. Oh, wow. Sakura's 86. Thank you so much for... Oh, uh, no, Trina. Thank you for my forever rose. And Sakura, thank you for my rose. Trina, that was so pretty. Thank you. Psycho Fairy, thank you for the follow. Casey, thank you for the follow. My cookies are going down way too fast. Okay, there we go. It's a key card reader. It looks new. I guess I need a key card. <sighs> yes, it is. It is such, it's a really interesting game. Here we go. Hello, MP, how are you? Okay, cheese. Yeah, uh, well, there we go. Activated that. Okay, that's where I came out of. So 
let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I agree. Okay, so we got this. Your incident report is extremely worrisome. Letting the transport ship under your watch make us question your capa your capa your cap your capability as a field operative. The damage control you perform does not alleviate your concerns. All it takes is one busybody with a camera that for the, your feet will be held to the fire. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Hi, Indy. Oh. Indy wants to say hello, everybody. I know, I know. No, get down. Get down. Get down. Ugh. So now I lost where I was finding. Oh, here it is. Okay, so now, so basically what this is about, I am a doctor, a therapist, who's trying to put together a mystery of my patients. And I'm doing that by going into their dreams and um, trying to figure out what was wrong with oh here we go so i'm trying to, to basically um whatever their fears were i'm kind of fighting those fears squeak thank you for hurting me it's actually a really good game and it was not very much on it's like three bucks on steam i think i can get this loose yes you can something behind it yes I know it's a metal plate attached to the wall I think I can get this loose no use that ah there you go okay so now let's put the chip in this I one a chip in there So I plug that chip in. So now I'm back here. Let's, oh, you know what? I wonder if... Okay. Is there any um, due to the sensitive nature of blank you are to keep it secured inside your new personal safe until it can be collected by someone from the accelerate ancillary team the safe's default code is blank do not under in thank you Cole gonna have to find this is my this is the guy that's um, chasing me Max good old Max Nygaard good old Max Nygaard the 
Okay, so. Written on the wall, she says. So let's see what's written on the wall. There it is. So it's 8-1. 8133 8136 All right 8136 Right So we have 8136 Got it All I should have done it like that. So, so it's eight, one, three. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. So it's eight, one. It's eight, one, three, six. All right, we got it, everybody. Okay. So we got that. Paige, you're going on a trip? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we can see because we still need the key card. So we need the key card. Let's see if it shows us where it's at. So we have to go, hold on. So is this the archives? No. Archives, there we go. All right, so now in the archives, let's try to get, oh, we got the key card. And your research propo uh, proposition is quite fascinating, Rosemary. I never would have thought to integrate electromagnetic radiation via radio into research. If you're serious about presenting this to me higher ups, then we'll have my blessing. go pick up as much as we can let's make sure we don't miss anything because we always need everything and that's some more health that's right third floor is restricted to those without level five access unless I'm here list of people who are not allowed Gary And let's keep looking, let's keep looking. All right, lots of good munchies. Delicious. That's right, we are fueling you up for your adventure. Okay, so now... Let's go back to the key card. 
a key card reader. Yep. It and I new. and I got the key card. Nothing happened. Uh oh, why not? Nothing happened. I could plug a chip in there. Now let's try the key card. Everybody, why, why, why? Something, oh, because of that. So I have to get past that into there. But here's the shitty part. Is I have to go back Four. What is that? Okay. Oh, here we go. Did I just get it? Yep. Okay. Phew. I thought I would lost my um, chip. I thought I lost my chip and I was going to be so sad. Ah, Faye Knight 24, thank you for my roses. I appreciate that. Uh oh. Okay, so let's go back because I have to remember to get all of my. going to let's see because I got the two I in this one because that's the two one which is fine there and then I was just back here in archives. And everything's fine here. And then, okay, that's there. That's what I went. Where did I plug in that other chip? I know we just plugged in. I am playing on a, um, a PC, and this one is, I got it from Costco. It's called an iBuyPower, and it's been a really good computer. I shall not lie, it's been a very good computer. Or did we... Did I put one in here? I have to go down farther. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I have Acer uh, monitors. And they're like that big. I'm going to do a TikTok. Um, I'm going to do a TikTok showing my setup. I've promised y'all I'll do that and I will do that.
Oh, there we go. I could plug a chip in there. Okay, that's a one. I guess not. No. So then I went up here. The graphics are beautiful on this game. I mean, I really love the graphics. Okay, well this is... Um, nothing yet. I don't want to put anything in there yet. So this is where, don't forget, this is where I have to go. So once I get the other thing, I have to go to the assembly room. Right now, I am going to... <laughs> Hello, Cole. So that one doesn't have a chip. And I want to know why this isn't working. Elizabeth, thank you for my hearts. So how do I get in there? Okay, so I need to find the pipe room. Where is the pipe room? And it doesn't say on there, but I need the pipe room. Darn it. Archives there. Okay, so I took the three back. So I found that. So let me try to put the three in here. Oh no, that's a two. So I have the one and I have the three. But this. Nothing happened. Well, dude, I know I can see that nothing happened. So this, I have to unscrew that, but let's see, let's see. Rubber boots would be awesome. Because I don't see any other way in. That would make too much sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are just, Eva, you are as, I was thinking the, if I can make something hard, I will make it hard. That sounded really bad. Plug a 
ship in there. So let's go with this one. I yep, that's the good. ship I used is too weak. So let's try three. Okay, so that's there. Now let's put a two here. And let's see if the key card reader. It looks new. Nothing happened. I wonder why. So let's go ahead and See what we can see. There it is, right there. So let's put a chip in that one. Okay, so that's this one here. I can plug a chip in there. Okay. Mm, power is not going all the way. Okay, so let's take that one out and we're going to put that one. Let's put the two there. Oh, no, you know what? Let's put the three there. We're going to put the two here. Let's put the three, that's the strongest one, over here. Let's put the three there. And then we'll put the one next to the door. All right, oh, there we go. Now we got it. There we go. Well, that's not good. From the war. A connection. Radio wave. Brain waves. Rainbow. Could be possible. Possible. Let me go get my keys again. Didn't forget them this time. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going to be in here. So I have all three of my chips. Okay. Okay. Got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got, we got building up. Of this. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. So now that we're in here. Elizabeth and Angel and everybody, how you doing? Okay. Now that we have that, so we have. So we got that. So now we have. <sighs> ah, Miss Page, thank you for my controller. Thank you, everybody. I love you all so much. Okay, so we have to find this on the second floor. 
Ah, Mama, Mama Fee, thank you. I appreciate my heart hands. Okay, so now we have to figure out where on the second floor is those darn pills. So, mm -hmm. nope. Okay, so are we on over oh, on the third floor? All right, we didn't get it from the second floor. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. My super speedy running. Let's go down to the second floor. Wow. Okay, so now on the second floor. Um, Okay, is in the assembly room. Uh, you know what? They're just like LED strip lights that I got from Costco. Or not Costco, but Amazon. So let's find a map, everybody. I need the assembly room. I need, so this is large storage. This is the hangar. Packaging, ventilation, doesn't look good. Okay, everybody, look for a map. Because I need... I need... Oh, there it is, right there. Duh. Okay, so I need the assembly room. So we're here, so let's get going to the assembly room. Yay! Assembly room. Okay. Um, go to the fence opening to the left. Ooh, okay. All right, everybody. This is where we started, but this is where. Tay, thank you for my tiny diny. I appreciate you. Thank you, Tiffany. Okay, so it's. I'm going to, because I have to get over there and over here, but okay, so, so I need to get in there. Uh, all right. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Exotic. Yeah, I figure, you know what? We're going to make it. We're going to make it fun. And we're going to get past 30 days the next time we play. Do we have a 
panel. Do we have a panel? We're looking for a panel. Good night, Scully. Katie, I am doing well. Or Kate, I am doing well. You know, I absolutely, I don't think makeup is necessary, but I really enjoy wearing makeup. And I, I basically, um, I basically tell myself to, to put it on every day just because it makes me, um, it makes me feel like I, it makes me feel good. So that's why I wear it. Okay, everybody, we need to find a panel. So keep your eyes open for a panel. Because I need to unscrew the panel to get into... Oh, there it is right there. Yes. 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 It's kind of a mystery within a mystery within a mystery within a mystery. And today for my eyeshadow, I actually did brown. And then I put orange over the top of it. Because brown's just kind of like schmeh. But the orange has been super bright. So I really like how that combined. Yeah. Pretty sure there's something behind it. Yes, I'm sure too. That's why we're gonna go in here. Yeah, no, um see now here's the thing is is I've been kind of like playing around with makeup and I am I have never worn peach blush before. And so what I've been doing is I have been going between like since I was wearing burgundy today, I wanted to wear brown eyeshadow and then like a peach blush. Otherwise, everything is too pink. So I'm trying to have that balance between what I'm wearing and what kind of what color makeup I'm wearing. Sperky1805, thank you for my high bears. I appreciate that. Oh, don't shoot it. So let's go ahead and put that one in there. So now we should be able to get into that room. Except, oh, okay, so that opened and now I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna go take it back out because the door's open. Got it, got it, got it, because the door won't shut. There we go. All right, so that's pretty good. Okay, flare gun. Okay, so I got all that, but I still don't have still don't have everything I need. Because now I have to somehow Yes, I am actually I am, I am, I am. Otherwise, I would still be, I would still be stuck. It says exit the area. Go 
right. It says exit the area, open the gate, and the items are behind it. Exit the area, go straight ahead, then go right and enter the area with the unlock gate. Grab all the pickups and the from the second locker. I didn't see Oh no. Nope, so that's there. I wonder, do I have, no, I still need to find the mushroom extract, Rickerin. I don't know where that's at. And mm -hmm. okay, so we're going to have to find this somehow because this is where we go. I'm thinking that. I should probably put my mask on. It's blocked from the other side. Okay. So the kicker is the guy that I'm looking at is, I think not going to work for me. So that's the assembly room, the assembly control room, packaging. There's packaging. It's blocked from the other side. Yep. So how do I get in there? Ah, Brandy, thank you for my rose and confetti, my friends. Now, if anybody wants to look up a guide and help me, I am not opposed to that. It's blocked from the other side. If anybody wants to be my little walkthrough guide, I would say thank you. Because this is extremely complicated. And I am not above asking for help. Because I don't know how to get in there. I do something here. <sighs> so I'm wondering, somehow I need to get in there, I think. This is the assembly room. I just got that there. See, I think I have to get in there. How would I get in there if they don't have any doors? You know what I mean, jelly beans? This is, I am, I am, I'm on the max tapes and I am looking for the mushroom extract, which is R-I-C-O-R-D-E-A on the second floor. And so this is there. I 
again, I don't know how to get up into there. So I found the one on the first floor. I found the one on the second floor. No, the third floor. Good night, Emily. Oh. Oh, cool. Please do. If you could, if you want to send it to me on Discord, also you can. Um, I'll tell you. I will meet you at the pros. No, the assembly room. I'm in the assembly room. And thank you for helping, Brandy. I appreciate that. Thank you for my guide. Hydration station. Hydration station. You're playing, pal. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I can try. Let's see, because I'm in... I just don't want to, I just didn't want to bother you. Because I'm thinking, because I know I have to get past this. I just, for the life of me, don't know how. Well, I appreciate you. Angel, thank you for my rose. Need to find crates that you can push into turntable. Uh, I already did that where the whole, um, the conveyor belt, I already did that one. I do have a gas mask. Elena, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate you so much. Elena, again, thank you for my team bracelet. Yes, I did. I certainly did. That's where I got stuck. That's what I've been working on for the last three days. J Money Gaming, I am playing in Sound Mind. That one was the toughest one. That's the one that I couldn't. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it all depends on how long I play this one for. It's blocked from the other side. It's off. I should look for wires. Yeah, no, that one I've already been in there. It's blocked from the other side. No, it's okay, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Now, I'm trying to create the pills. Is it, um, Paige? I'm. Yes. Ace, the, the um, gas mask helps me get through the purple stuff. See, because I can walk through the purple stuff when I have that. The first floor, I already got the pill for the first floor. I just need the one in, on the second floor. So I need to get the, f the, the pill stuff for the second floor. And then I have to craft the lure pill to tame the bull. Free Mackey, it was fun. It was a lot. Of, it was actually really fun. I, I think the more I play it, the funner it's going to get. No, I didn't read them, but let me go.
Let me go back to the assembly control room. Okay, that incinerator. Okay, the assembly control room. So there's this note. Arlo, it's such a good game. It says, keep your damn lure pill experiments as far from ours as possible. One of those pills found its way into our chemical shipment and nearly blew up the delivery truck. A mixing of our chemicals in your pills is a disaster. Okay. And then I have... Don't need that. Can't get in there. I have in the past, I, oh, you know what, let me. I control, no, because there are no, there's no barrels really to shoot. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So I, well, let me put my mask on and see if maybe I, see, I can't get past that. So there's I got nothing, 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 nothing. Ah, oh, Betsy, thank you. And my Betsy, I love you dearly. And I want you to know how much I love you. I love my Betsy. And my Betsy, she loves me. She thinks I have the greatest personality. All right, so I thought I had done everything. <sighs> have we already caused the fence by the small storage to fall? Mm, maybe not. Let me find the small storage. Let me see where the small storage room is. Oh, here we go. So small storage room. Okay, so, oh, okay. Let's see, because I'm there. No, how do we make that fence? Um, how do we get rid of that fence? Thank you, Richie. I appreciate you. Good night, Dancing Queen. Have a good day tomorrow and be safe and dress warm. Oh no, Amy. Somebody just joined Discord. I could hear the notification. Oh, is that you? Okay.
Okay. Okay, when you come to the first intersect, shoot the explosive barrel to the right to reveal a panel. Okay, it says that when you come to the first intersect, but the barrel is gone. Shoot the explosive barrel in the right to reveal the panel. Oh, it's right there standing in front of me. All right, everybody. We got it. Ha! We got it. Teamwork makes dream work, makes the bean work. Ah, awesome. Everybody, keep your guides out. We're going to have, we're going to need some help. Awesome, everybody. I'm all like, there's no barrel to shoot as I was standing right next to the barrel. Okay, let's do this. Pretty good. Okay, so now it's off. I, I should look for wires. Okay, that's creepy. Okay, so now I have to... That didn't really work to my benefit. Kendall, thank you for hearting me. I appreciate that. Okay, so I got in here. Thank you for my roses. Thank you so much. Okay, so now. All right, so let's look for this. Okay, so that's right there. Oh, so let's go ahead and put this back in here. I need I this for just a minute. Kendall, we are playing in Sound Mind. I think it needs to be a stronger one. It's off. Okay, so let's go ahead and put. indicator it's off no that shouldn't be so red light red light red light oh it's behind there okay so does this one really need to go there no so let me take this one back out Now, does the 2B chip have to stay in this one? Okay, because I need to put one that's behind this, but getting behind this is right there. And I cannot get past. I move forward. I know, dude. And I can't get past that until I figure out how to get in there. And so it says, shoot the flare over the fence. Oh, okay. Because I shot at the fence and it ricocheted back at me. So let's go ahead and go. Very, very, very cool. 
And then I put the three on this one, correct? It's a metal plate attached to the wall. Two, one, okay. I could plug a chip in there. No oh, nice. you know what? I put the two over here. So let's go ahead and put this in here. There we go. Ah! Look at that, everybody. Here we go. That's what we need. All right, we got it. So now we can go make So now, okay, so I am not oh, let me go get this. So if you all could help me. So now we're gonna go back to the assembly room. And is there, um, so I have to put something There's in room here. There's a small object in there. But I'm wondering Good night, Cole. The thing from the suitcase. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Love you too, honey. I was just wondering because I have three of them. So I'm wondering, does it matter? I'm sure it matters which one I put in there. Because I have that. And then, I wonder if I put them all in there? I guess it won't let me put the wrong one in, so I'll try. It's no use. Not working. No dice. No dice. Okay. See, now this one, I have a feeling that right there is the power, is what's going to power it up. But it just says. The empty pill? I guess it does, doesn't it? So now then I'm assuming So I'm assuming I go So we have Okay So we have So we have, oh shit, you know what I need? I need the note that says the coloring. Like what color is what, um, like what coloring is which one? Can I, can I call? A caramel latte, yum. Yes, Mari, this is called In Simple, uh, In Sound Mind. Um, so I guess I should have paid more attention to those notes. Let me go back and find the note. 
Always pay attention in school, kids. Always pay attention in school. Nope, not that one. I think it's back in one of the offices. <laughs> I'm like, who needs to read instructions, right? So let's go back to maybe one of these. Okay, so, uh, okay, here we go. I knew we were gonna have a key. Uh, so purple or pink is the P H E R O M O N E. The blue is the mushroom one. And then the green is Rika's. Got it. Or at all. No. Nope, nope, nope. I got a new beanie tonight. Okay. Take that. Okay, I got that. There. Nope, nope, nope. Do I have all my chips? I have one, three, two. Yes, I do. Thank you. Burgundy's like my favorite color. Okay. All right, so let's go do this, everybody. So I have blue is the Ricola. Blue is is the mushroom one. No. Blue is Ricordia. So that's this one. Purple is the one that starts with a P. Is that one? And this a one. Small slot for a vial here. Yep, and that's what we're putting there. Okay. <sighs> okay. So now I am assuming. I am going to go down and we are going to so I'm assuming
Okay. So let's go. That was that, that was that. gonna go down ah making money not friends 2023 I love your username and thank you for the follow This one. There's unnatural darkness here. Yep, that's why we're gonna do this. So then let's go up. And we got this one. Was the purple one? Yes, Squeak. This is a it's a, it's a really interesting game, but it definitely um, has its challenges. I'll say that much. I wonder if it will let me turn this on now. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and look. I don't think I need to do anything there. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Because I only saw one pipe down here. That's the purple one. Where's the green? So there's the green. Oh, there we go. Okay, I get it now. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it now? Okay, okay, okay. So let's go. Let's 
go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so the green is completely done. Now we need to go back up and finish the other two colors. Let's go finish the other two. So that was that, okay. So now the green is done. Purple is there. And then what was the other one? Blue. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Now we've got it. That's right, dang it. How do I get downstairs? Okay, right here. So now we need to finish the blue. Where are you at? Okay, and then what's the last one that we need? Green? No, purple. over here. Okay, so now let's go see if we can't make some of this. CJ, this is called In Sound Mind and it is so much fun. Do they all look lit up? Yes, they do. grab him. Monsters seem to like it. Maybe I should try. Ooh, I don't know. Should I try it? I don't think so. But it's... I am. I'm having a really good night. This is a fun game. I definitely suggest if you play it, um, definitely follow a guide. And um, it, it's so complicated and so such a large one. What do you think? Do you think? Do you think? I just don't think. I think I have to. I think I have I to. These are safe. Oh, okay. I'm not going to take it. Oh, I can actually throw these at people. Okay. So now <sighs> K 
tonight, Nanny. Oh, look, I have like a little arsenal now. Uh oh. Oh, shit. That guy's right there. It's blocked from the other side. He is not our friend. Megan, thank you for harding me. I appreciate that. I need some more little pill capsule things so I can make more pills. I wonder if I can put this back in there? No, I can't. Can I just make more? Oh, I can. Good night, cheese. Nessie, thank you for sharing my life. Okay, that's as many as I can make. Megan, thank you again for hurting me. Okay, so now we're gonna have to figure out this situation because I am locked in here, I think. It's blocked from the other side. Of course it is. Okay. There's that. There's that. Oh, the doors are always locked in this game. Okay, so let's go. Megan, okay, so what the story of this game is, is I'm a, um, I'm a therapist whose patients ended up mysteriously and what I'm doing is, is I'm solving the mystery of what happened to them by listening to tapes of their therapy sessions and going into their dreams and like fighting their, um, their fears. So like, for example, the character that I'm listening to right now he has irrational anger so the monster that i'm fighting is like super angry it's a really good it's a really good game okay so that's a doesn't sound good. I don't know what that is. It is Nessie. It's called In Sound Mind. And believe it or not, it's on Steam for like three bucks. It is the, it is such a good fun game that is um, not expensive at all. All right, Lucky, thank you. Thank you for keeping me updated, Lucky. Okay, so that didn't sound good, but it didn't do anything. So maybe I should. Oh, here we go. Final destination? Mm. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, do you see what's happening? I have to try to make it in there before it um, before it closes all the way. You think with all this granny experience I have from running from her, I could do this? I did it, I did it, I did it. Uh-oh. Well, holy guacamole, Batmans. This ain't good. like my pills. the pills yeah I threw it at him and I threw it right past him but I'll try that again they are fast You know, I won't, I don't like, um, I don't like, uh, self, like the car washes that you have to dry through yourself and tanning beds freak me out, but I'm not super, um, I would say probably only the, um, only the, um, car wash one really bugged me. to be working out. Oh, I got one. I got one, everybody. All right, I got him. Phew.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, aw, cat, thank you for my ducks on parade. I got a mama duck and a baby duck and there's ducks on parade. See, I can be just as loving as a as a mama bear and then if you mess with me, I'll just, I'll just mess you up. I'll just mess you up. Trina, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna need... this loose I think you can too oh, come on well if I use the right one it would be easier oh they restore my health too okay thank you I thought I was going to um because you know me I don't take anything unnecessarily to make sure that I was not going to have something bad happen. Glad to see it's still good. Me too. Hi, Caitlin. Okay, it, we this game is so long. I feel like we were play, we've been playing this forever. Good night, Katie. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you know what? It and that's just the whole thing is I it's like plug a chip in there. I really work. like I really like um two three, that one's a three. I really like that we can like play it and then if we don't play it for a couple of days uh oh. If we don't play it for a couple of days, it's not that big of a deal. Uh oh. I probably have a shirt my dumb lot. I like almost So let's figure out Okay. I am. I have only been on for six hours. I'll probably be on for about another hour or so. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like if we um, just like try to like really just push through it, it would just become like a, a almost like a task. And I didn't want to do that because it's such a good game. I just don't want to get burnt out on it. Okay. So we're in here. I beat those. <gasps> I wonder if I'm going to have to um, fight Max now. Because I really don't want to. He's mean. Yeah. I also, too, um, in my constant quest for new games, I found a couple of like short story mysteries I thought would be good. And then I was going to ask you too, what do you what do you all think about like back rooms and stuff? Like exploring back rooms and doing puzzles and trying to get out that way. Do you like those back room ones? Behind the third one is a door. Okay. Oh shoot. Oh, you do? Okay. Backroom woods, but okay. So now let me ask you this again because we have so many questions. But um, is there one that you like more than another? I mean, is there like, because there seems to be so many, but I don't want to play one that's cheesy, if that makes any sense. Fun to watch, okay. 
see, because I thought that it, it added just enough of an element of like mystery and kind of suspense, um, but was still like that kind of like edgy sort of like um, kind of games that we usually play. Okay, so now let's see where I go. And the hanger. Soma, we're, TJ, we're doing Soma on Saturday. We're having Soma Saturdays. I think we're going to play Soma every Saturday. Amnesia, yeah, well, Soma is just like Amnesia, but um, under, um, under the sea. That's what I was wondering if I needed to go back and get those. Thank you for reminding me, Katie. David, thank you for the follow. And I called you Katie. Sorry, Caitlin. Thank you for, thank you for reminding me. I'm like, why did you just call her that? And I'm like, I don't know. We're doing scrutinized again. Yes, the only thing is, is I am staying away from super cool. I, I don't know. I can't do any more Chilla's game where we're just scurrying around at night with haunted haunted shit and weird babies. I mean, I, I burnt myself out on that. You know, I just don't want to do a whole lot of gore anymore. <sighs> and I'm sorry about that. Uh-oh, I hear Max. Yeah, haunted shit and weird babies. And, and here's the thing is, is like there's been some really good ones, and but the last of them have just been like, just been kind of poo. I have, I, I know I could say a different word, but I just have not cared for them. Yeah, I think that there has to be like, um, I think there has to be some sort of like, there has to be, like I said, like a chill, like an escape room where we can have the eerie kind of like suspense, but without the gore. That would be ideally what I would want. I'm surprised I still drink coffee after that. I'm on the way with, uh, I'm that way with movies. I don't like unnecessary. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Um, so I'm thinking, um, okay. So yeah, so that's what I decided to do. And you know what, and truthfully, I really think that it was like, I think it was affecting my mental health because I had been really like super depressed and that's the only thing I can think of. You know, just like constantly having that, just kind of like, I don't know. Anyway, we are gonna do s just some spooky stuff. Um, we're just gonna do spooky stuff without the gore. If you pilled it, they will come. Uh-oh. He's out there, everybody. I think he's half train, actually. He was chasing me around all morning and he is definitely bigger than a motorcycle. This door is to remain closed dur during lure pill experiments. The last thing we need is for our livestock to ram their way into the building. Mm. I know 
always out there. Hello, Tia. Now, how do we get him? Okay, so no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Got it. I don't know what I would do without my guide. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what I would do. Oh, uh, okay. We need to get out. We need to get out. So it says... Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, I just don't know where the quarry is. gate that you uh, okay okay I think the quarry is this way You know what we can do now? Look at us go. All that for that. Tiffany absolutely just put it under yeah just put it under general chat um, or you could put it under um, your plant one whatever you want <sighs> squeak thank you for my hi bear hun thank you thank you Okay. Oh, wow. Well, I did that all on my own without even knowing that I was supposed to do that. Hey, Beans. Hello, Evan. How are you? So the quarry is this way. Come on, dude. You can do it. Okay, okay, okay. So now, again, we're going to have to figure out, damn it, okay, yeah, I told you, that's bigger than a, Okay. 
That's exactly what we wanted him to do. Go, 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 go. He's sneaking up behind me. I can hear him. Oh. Jiminy Cricket. Oh, I died. <sighs> Cheese and rice. Here he comes, everybody. Hey, Max. Ah! All right, everybody, let's go. This is not fair. Monica, 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 Monica. I don't know. But what we're going to do is I'm going to reload everything. Here it comes. All right. Oh my gosh. We got this. He has a major attitude problem. Squashed me. Not if I can go faster. Come on. Damn it, I almost made it. Hey, Zach. Absolutely unhinged. I know. Okay. 
we're going to get this. We're going to get this. And then he has to crash through the other side. Now, did it say that those pills made him less angry? So I'll just throw this shit at him. Uh-oh, I threw it too soon. Oh no! Okay, so at least I figured out what we're supposed to do. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh Holly, how cool. we figured out what we have to do. Oh, poo. Okay. Okay. Yes, I have to aim at the little red um, spots on their heads. Okay. So will it distract the, the other things that are trying to get me? Okay, I just took one too. Yeah, I know. I'm going to... Amy, I'll start aiming at those. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. everybody let's see what I can do
Oh shit, okay. This is called In Sound Mind. Oh, we definitely made it further this time. And I do need to throw those pills more. Sometimes I'm my own worst enemy and I'm very stubborn. Um, oh no, no, it's not, it's not at all. I'm just concentrating. I, I actually really like this game. And so this is just me, this is me concentrating, not being frustrated. Oh, I took a pill. I needed the extra strength. If I could get the right gun. got a pill and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, he is not nice. for him to be figuring out his little situation there. No, Max, come back. Hello, Max. I need you over here. Hello. Okay. I did too good of a job. here, I just don't know what to do. I said, I'm hiding this note here just in case I can't tell this story myself. People need to know what happened here. Max, the driver who snuck me in here, he got the few loose screws, but I could tell his heart was in the right place. He kept talking about doing right by Maddie, whoever that is. After he dropped me off here, he went crashing right through the factory. I've never seen a man so utterly consumed with rage. How dare you? I could hear him shouting all the way from here. Give me my job back. There was such a great uproar, then all of a sudden silence. Max was supposed to give me a ride back into town as well, but he never showed up. Nope, it's actually his name. So Max was just, um, he had a heart of gold. He just had an anger issue. So, there's an opening at the top. No, it's not letting me go up any farther. Nope. 
<laughs> First rule of Bean Club, you're not allowed to say sorry. So this right here is the quarry is this way. Okay, so I have four pills left. Okay, everybody, so now thinking we go up from here hello strawberry and how are you Okay. Huh. I'm doing good. How are you? All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. So now, okay, so I made it all the way there to the quarry. Um, answer the telephone. Okay, let's see what we got. This is called, um, this is called, uh, in sound mind, that's what it's called. Well, that's exactly what it's called. Okay, let's get that, let's get that, let's get this and this. Okay. And let's go up and around. Oh my goodness, I just made like a huge circle. Because I want to go to... Hello? Hello? So I have to go back. And there's all of this. There's all of this. There's Max again. Up there maybe? Okay, so we need to get him to crash through this now. All right, dude, we need you to come over this way. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out what the hell he was trying to say. Mm -mm -mm. Come over here, Max. Oh, shoot. Oh, damn it. 
here, Mac D Mac, I know. Oh, thank you, Holly. Jenny Lynn, it's a long game, but it is a good game. Okay, so let's go straight back because we know that we need him to crash through here. Dang oh dang oh dang oh dang. Okay. This feels like this is where we've been before. Okay, so we're safe in here. Hey look, we're back in a building. Oh, you all know who this is. All this for what? You're very much alike. <laughs> Tiffany, I agree. Your priorities are all jumbled up. All you had to do was stay away. This whole situation is draining. Well, Hello, Dane. I don't think you can ever throw. So the mine got sold. On Tuesday, the quarry officially closed its doors for the last time. I don't have time to read. I got a crazy... Okay, so what we're going to have to do is figure out how to get energy to this thing. Oh yes I did. Okay, so now... Okay, so then we went to...
Okay. Oh, they were dumping something. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This ain't gonna be fun, but let's try what it says. Oh, I made it. Yay! That's what I'm saying. That's what I am saying. Oh shit, I should not have done that. TJ, thank you for sharing the live. So tomorrow we are playing Killer Frequency. So I don't know if you know what that one is, but that one is where we are a radio talk show host and we are gonna send some of our, oh crap, our listeners to, um, to go find a killer. Yeah, I think that sounds super fun. Okay, so I didn't really get anything here, so let's go ahead and go in. Looks fragile. And I might be able to break this with something. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah, I, it, it hurt. I got great reviews. Appreciate that. Iris, thank you for hiding me also. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Patrick. How are you? How have you been? Jamie, do I have a favorite game? Um, yeah, probably Stray 
either Stray or um, a Granny. I really like Granny. Or Phasmophobia. I really have been enjoying that also. Okay, so now I have to get over there and I don't know how to get over there. Yeah, it's just fun. You know what I mean? It just it's just fun. Because I went down there and did not live. I don't want to do that again. There's a beam between the ramps. How do I get there though? It is a little scavenger hunt. It's like a little scavenger, um, it's like a little scavenger hunt um, for survival. Okay, so let's see what it says. I just can't, I can't get to the beam. See, I can't get to that beam. Go down and get on the ramp, the walk. Uh, you mean like walk on that beam? Because that beam is only... Because that's not going to go all the way through. terrifying.
so now I'm here. Good night, Lucky Day. At least I didn't die. Good night, Grid. Hi. Ah, Elizabeth. Thank you for my happy. Um, what are those called? Those are called. What are those called? Capybaras. Thank you for my happy capybaras. I saw those and I thought that those were so stinking cute. Thank you. get on that second conveyor belt. I just don't know how that's just going to happen. Oh, you know how? I know how. Let me try something. We're finally free, I know. I have to walk along that fence. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. I see it. Got it, got it, got it. Go Team Bean, thank you so much. Oh, I just fell. I need both hands. All right, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Good night, Andy. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody. Okay. So I'm assuming I still go down. 
Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. It's just this game requires so much concentration. It's just, it's just, it's crazy how much I just have to like mentally just prepare myself. Okay. Concentration is real exactly. Oh yeah, thank you, Betsy. And you know, I've been I've been streaming for almost seven hours. Now I'm going to have to get in here. So let's see how we do it. Okay, so then... I know. It's like, I am perfectly fine if he would just, you know, if we would just call it a truce. You know, he can do his thing, I can do mine, he can go along his way. didn't keep them occupied for very long. Uh-oh. Okay, so we are going to end this one here, but... ah, uh, Dane, thank you for my roses, and Grid, thank you for hurting me. I want to play, like, a lighter game, because I've just been concentrating, like... So I'm thinking maybe some false dreams. Just a round of that. Yeah, let's just do something. Let's just do something. Yeah, because that's his bin. This helps me, actually helps me kind of just, um, it helps me just kind of, um, it just helps me kind of like, ah. Uh, Betsy, I usually stream until almost midnight. Good night, Ace. All right. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oops. I did like the 60 seconds. I think I had to make some really tough decisions, but I really liked it. Um, we will definitely be playing that one again. I thought it was a fun way to start. It, it was a fun game to add to our repertoire. Um, it was definitely something, it was interesting. I thought it was fun because you know what, it's, I just, you know, like having to send people out while I just sat there and go crazy with my sock puppet, I thought was funny. 
Emma, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. And that's still going. Those are fine. Kitty, I'm doing really well. Thank you. It's been a really fun night of streaming. I just can't see what's missing. Air conditioner's there. Good night, Tiffany. <gasps> Kitty, thank you for my roses. I appreciate you. And Okay, and let's see, let's see. What didn't you see, Caitlin? Because there's got to be something. Sink looks okay. The knife, that. Hydration station. The door looks fine. That looks fine. This looks fine. That looks fine. That's there, that's there. That's there, that's there. You will get through it, crazy llama cat. You will definitely get through it. I don't see it. Do you see anything? You thought the hose was missing? Yeah, no, the hose is right there. Check the clock. Oh, that's right. No? Because that says 1 o'clock, that says 1 o'clock. Nothing in the trash can. The suitcase is fine. There's four hangers. Well, they started us off with a hard one. That's still going. I don't see it. I just don't see it, y'all. Of the toilet. I mean, since this is our first one, I'm going to pick up the radio and we can figure out what it is. Let's just give it a go. It's something over here. This is called False Dreams. Okay, it's definitely something here. Oh, look at the books. Look at the damn books. It's the books. The books are stacked weird. I know. So let's go to bed. We'll, at least we can remember that one. No, it was the books.
The TV's off, and that's the anomaly. The TV should be on, isn't it? Because look at the books. The books are back to normal. Yeah, normally the TV is on. So I'm just going to take a picture of the TV. You're back. Oh. Well, shit, maybe it was the TV. It was just that, because look at the books. So weird. I don't know what that one was. What do you think that one was? You couldn't stay away that long. No, you could not. I thought the TV was always on also. Because I look at the books. The books are back to normal. I think just like the whole thing was wrong. I don't know. You can go through the kitchen and also look in the wardrobe and through the window. Okay. So we're going to start here and make our way in. Look at the pit faces. Are the hangers weird? Look at the hangers. The hanger shouldn't be on there like that. Yeah, this is a new game. The hangers, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, they are wrong, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a really cool game. I do like this game. Three o'clock, everybody. Free <laughs> P. Mackey, yes. I'm going to be on for just a little bit longer so you can hang out with us while we figure out what's wrong. Um, Gamey since, yes, they were. They're like, they need me. I must go. Is Angel still on? I didn't know if she went to bed yet. Um, <gasps> Psycho Shed, thank you for my roses. Oh, hey, Angel. Thank you for my roses. And then we got that, we got that, we got that. The rack over the oven. And thank you for my rose again. Oh, it's on the wrong side. Good job, Tosh. Good eye. Crazy Llama Cat, if you want to, just go ahead and um, you can um, put that on. Um, you can put that on Discord, honey, and I'm sure we will all support you there. I know you're super nervous, and we will definitely support you on Discord. No. That is correct. What? I thought it was over on the other side. What is going on? Because we're back to 1 o'clock. Yeah. I know you're scared, honey. And you know what? Definitely um, just go ahead and post something in the Discord and put it under the venting about life. And everybody will definitely be supporting you there. Oh, that's right. There's too many things. One, because there's usually only six. That is just so weird, though. 
Yeah, it's always been over to the left. But the TV's always been on, and now it's off. We've got that. We've got that. Ooh, I can hear it raining. It's so cool. Okay, so look. So now it's over there. It's never been over there before, I didn't think. The stoves are fine. And then, oh, the door handle's missing. So the door handle's missing. That one's pretty easy. And so let's go on over here. And so it's 3 o'clock, everybody. So the TV's... Okay, so look at the books again. The books changed. So the books changed again. I don't know. Case, ca that, it, that was really cool. And I played um, Carson's house the other day. And I'll have to do the iron bark one again. I do that. I do love that one. So what do you think? Do you think I should take a picture of the books? Because that's not right. Okay. See, you know that that's right. Oops. Okay, four o'clock, everybody. If they do update this more regularly, I will have a lot of respect for them. Um, cause that's, <laughs> that was crazy. We will definitely be doing some gooses soon. I just like, you know what? I like to do a variety. I mean, you have to understand I do this every day a week. I definitely like doing a little variety. Keeping them frosty. Let's keep this front. We sh yeah, observation duty. I think observation duty, you know what? We've played so many other games. It almost makes it seem really slow. I don't know if it just seems slow to everybody else. Make sure you watch out the window. I've noticed before in one game that the windows um, opposite go. Oh, yeah, they go away. Yeah, no, I could. I don't. I think I would go crazy playing the same game over and over again. Oh, handprint. Okay, so here's the thing. The handprint, if I take the picture in the wrong spot, it slaps me and makes me start over. You know what I mean? And I don't want to be slapped. At least, so I'm going to try to... Well, at least it didn't um, get me this time. <laughs> okay, five o'clock, everybody. Okay, so we have the air conditioner, all of that. And then we have that, five o'clock. We have their faces. The toys, let's see. Oh, the toy is upside down. Yep. Good job. Okay. Okay. Six o'clock. So six o'clock, the books. Of 
talk, everything's fine. Okay, that looks good, that's fine. Stove top burners are fine. I saw that one page. I did get the one with the hand. That was tricky. Okay, that's still going. <laughs> the Harry Potter song, that's awesome. Okay, so the doors are fine. <sighs> so the clock says six, this clock says six. It's going in the right direction. The, the washing machine is supposed to be on, yes. This toy looks fine. Tissues are fine. Air conditioner's fine. Everything that's going on over there. Um, you know what? I, ever since my kids were little and they got their first Xbox, I've always enjoyed video games. Um, I, I, I would just pick up a video game and just play kind of as my relaxing thing. But um, I just started streaming video games here on TikTok about five months ago. Um, are the boxes too big or the box? No, the boxes are the same size. I don't know, y'all. Do you have any idea? Nope, that's fine where that is. Yeah, no, I got my kids a um, Xbox, gosh, back in probably 1998, 1999, some way before 1997. And when they would go to bed, um, I would just sit there and play. <laughs> I would play their video games. The light in the bedroom is too big. Oh, dang. Yes, it is. Okay. It's like a flying saucer. Thank you. Yes. And then we take a picture of it. And at nine o'clock, um, at nine o'clock, uh, it, we get to, uh, leave the room. Does that door look right? Does the door handle look weird? That door hand that door looked weird. Seven o'clock. That's what I was just thinking. There it is right there. That's definitely not a shower head. All right, so eight o'clock. One more time, everybody.
8 o'clock. Eight o'clock. Let's see what we can find. That, there's that. All right, kids, what do you think? I don't. S that's still on. The plushie. <gasps> the eyes are moving. The eyes don't usually move, do they? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm taking... <laughs> I am taking a picture of this one. All right, that means we get to leave Creepy Town. Yay! Awesome! We did it! No, we just have to start over again. We start over again at 1 o'clock. But that was the perfect way to end the stream. It was much nicer than the other one. And that's one of the reasons why I don't play In Sound Mind. It's a great game, but gosh, does it take a lot of... Um, takes a lot of concentration. There we go. And with that, I shall say good night. Happy Thursday. Good Friday to everyone. Um, tomorrow night, I know for sure we're doing Killer Frequency. I'm not too sure what else, but I will see you all tomorrow. Do you play Phasmophobia every single day? I usually start with Phasmophobia, one of my favorite games. So I start at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you want, you can follow my Discord that is in my link tree that is in my bio. And also, too, if you want to follow me on YouTube, I record every single um, live stream and I put it over there. So I appreciate you all. Be safe tomorrow. Dress warm. And I will see you at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. All right, everybody. Uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I love you all dearly. And... I will see you all tomorrow. And I love you all dearly. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.